Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Sunless Seas. I am so excited to continue this adventure. It's been so cool to explore this game that was so mysterious to me for more than eight years. And now to finally actually play it and pay attention to everything and also share with you guys. It's been a pleasure. We're gonna just hop straight in. Have a great time. I hope you join us. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. Let's hop into the game. Let's go. Alrighty, here we are. So if you've never seen uh, Sunless Seas, you can watch the series over on the top right. I'll, I'll link it right there. But basically, it is a Lovecraftian game where you are this small ship and there's this massive world uh, of uh, the old times or fallen london that's what it's called fallen london right here uh it is london which has fallen into this massive cave and is now in some kind of ocean underground the hence why there's no sun and it's called sunless seas now as you can see we've been exploring quite a bit now you're supposed to die quite often in this game it's a roguelike there's achievements for having like 10 20 30 deaths but we haven't died a single time so let's hope our luck isn't gonna run out and we're gonna keep going now last time at the very end we um got some upgrades for our ship we have a better engine now a, a hugely improvement engine or a huge improvement of our engine it's like basically twice as fast and we got our better gun as well and we have a lot of uh supplies and cargo uh we actually need to buy two more supplies yeah we have the money for that of course um and we're gonna just head out again uh explore more it's been so fun uh, I think, do, do we have any missions? So this game can be quite overwhelming if you are just here because there's so much text on the screen, but I'm going to lead you along. I'm going to read everything. So don't worry. You can just sit back, relax while I uh, deal with all the, <laughs> all the craziness. Okay. So we, uh, oh, we don't have, we needed something here. What do we need? Ender bright. Uh, a bandage po poisoner, which is a cook. Well, we already have a cook, which I don't even remember how this guy got on our boat, but he's there. Um, so this, these are our officers. They give us bonuses and stuff, and the bonuses basically help you in skill checks. So if you get, like, a, a challenge, it's a, one of these different types of challenges, and the higher your stat is in that specific skill, the higher the chances that you get a successful outcome or you get a negative outcome. Um, okay, so what do we want to do? I think just exploring more. Oh, yeah, we wanted to go to Visage here. Um, where is it? Your father's bones. This is our wind condition. A cold trail. Seek visage somewhere in the south of the sea. What is next in the quest for your father's bones? So we've already been there, which was a crazy adventure. I think we're just gonna go. Um, now, we have one big problem, which is our terror is absolutely terrible. It's extremely high. I don't know how that's gonna go. And we are definitely faster. But we want to go to visage, which is right down there. And I guess we're just gonna hop by all the islands. So the way it works is that you basically explore and every time you die the islands move around but some of the islands will stick in the same places like the islands that are stuck to the land mass at the side uh, or they will only move a little bit um and you can explore these islands and on these islands different things will happen uh like you will have uh, some islands have like whole storylines some islands are very simple ones um and stop here but there's not really a point to it i think i'm gonna go to mudden island um so i need to pay attention because i have my lights on but i kind of want to have my lights on so i don't get any terror maybe if we turn this 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 part of the sea oh god oh boy fight i didn't even see that oh here we go the combat is very simple it's basically oh it's oh god we're gonna take damage no to two damage that's not too bad um because we are an upgraded gun as well so we're, we're pretty solid we're pretty strong i think i'm just gonna eat i'm gonna eat this you've lost 10 hunger um i think those just infinitely respawn and if you dissect them that's a challenge which i'm pretty sure we can 100 percent complete but you get some fragments which fragments give you um secrets which we have 19 secrets right now i think we can go to our officers and upgrade them let's see can i talk to our chief engineer can i speak to you increase your veils we'll do that one time we gain one veil for a secret okay so you can upgrade we'll do that a few times because we have not much veils uh can i see my stats please uh we have we kind of want i kind of want 40 of everything we just spend some secrets since we kind of haven't been spending those at all uh let's see which can i talk to you and get hearts maybe improve my mirrors I already have 66 mirrors i don't think that's worth it anymore um hook maybe what do you give me you give hearts okay so i'm gonna do one heart 
And we've losing we're losing terror from this as well. Nice. Okay. Wait, I didn't even see that. So we have 40 there. And we're gonna do pages, which I think might be you. Are you gonna give me pages? Oh, I can take invite her to dine with you. I don't even know what that's all about. Um uh, proposition to clattery air. Excuse me. Perhaps not. Uh mascot, can I speak to you? Chase your blamigan from the engine room. Gusts of laughter sound from within. Your crew might be happy, but they're not working. Interesting. We can do this. But I already... I want to use my... So every time you vi you go around the map, this thing right here... You can't see this on my face. This thing, when you hear the, like, bell, that means that the next time you stop at a port, which we're going to do right here, you can use that to do some kind of event. So, for example, here we can... Uh, unlocks when something awaits you is activated. Um, which means... Let me see... Oh, yeah, we can also chat to the fishermen to get a port report. So every time you go to a port, you can get a port report. When you come back to London, you can sell it to the military there. You can sell information from what's going on in the in the in the universe right now, uh, which is a really good way to get fuel and to get um, money as well. And let's see. Drinks. I think we'll do some drinks. Sure. Maybe we'll do some terror. You've lost terror. Nice. 20 echoes as well, though. Actually, that's not too bad. We could do that again. We're nervous still. And then we're going to explore the shore. Uh, what's this? Remnants of a shipwreck. What's washed up here? Uh, I'll do that. That's absolutely disgusting. This place is amazing. I need to keep this in mind. This happened last time, basically, as well. Now, we're going to have to ditch so much of this, but I guess you can just turn in your your uh like uh event for 10 fuel which is a lot of money that's like 200 dollars or something crazy okay so that's pretty good <laughs> nice so we are back on full of fuel um that's fine you can't sell it you have to just throw it off a board uh can one of these give me so you give me veils okay now we have 40 veils does anyone give me pages or is that just not a thing you give me hearts you i can't even give improve you what the hell is this? Send a secrets to improve your hearts. Increase your hearts. The best way to extract a secret is to offer one in in turn. What does this do? Unlocked when learning about Clatterly Air. Oh, yeah. She is... I guess we could invite her to a dinner. Here, let's do that. Precise bite sizes. The cooked flesh arrives still in its shell. From the claws, eight legs, body, and head... He renders a dozen neat bite-sized piles of shredded flesh, sutured with mushroom, or pinned together with a needle of chiton. chiton? Perhaps she has missed a calling as a chef. She denies it. My mother was the child of a surgeon in the first city. You might say that knife work runs in the family. There is a wicked quirking smile at the corner of her mouth. Then there are the rumors about my father. She would deny there's any truth in those. Okay. So we've lost the supply, but we learned something. Your learning about the Clattery heir is now alerted to rumors about the Clattery heir's parents. But didn't we already figure out? Yeah, we already figured out her parents. Can't do this, though. She should know the truth. Yeah, we already found her parents. I guess we'll need to... We could improve hearts again, but we don't really want that. Uh, and we can't improve iron, right? None of these improve our iron. This is just mirrors. Oh, we can dine with you as well. I'm not going to give up. I should have done this before and then gotten more fuel. Uh, I should have known that. This, I, we need these uh, supplies to stay alive. Otherwise, everyone's going to starve. Uh, I think we're going to do some more. Here, we'll turn these in. Oh, you don't lose terror for this, though. So I guess we're going to go talk to you. Hook. And get some hearts. Does that increase t decrease terror? That does decrease terror. Nice. I feel like this is not actually going down at all. Am I crazy? It's not actually going down at all. Excuse me? Wait, what? Did I... Oh, am I just standing here? Wait, what? Why am I... Is my terror going up? I'm not moving time. I don't understand. Uh, I feel like I just got insanely scammed. I feel like I reduced way more terror than I actually... That actually happened. I still have 11 secrets. What the hell? I'll just keep God talking to the cook and keep getting more hearts. And reducing some terror. Oh, I've gained the terror! Oh, I am actually the worst reader of all time. Okay, that explains why. Okay, yeah, don't do that. That's completely stupid. All right, well, uh, it happens. Uh, it happens to the best of us, I guess. And right, you don't give me... Okay, this is much better. 
I never upgraded for some reason. That's so stupid. But I'm just going to turn all of these secrets in except one, because maybe you can use them in an event. There we go. We got 50 veils now. We're actually in such a good spot. So veils is like for stealth. Which is good, because we want to be stealthy sometimes. Okay, we're going to move on. We need to go to visits, which is actually relatively close. The seed terrors last year. I should really not have... That was so dumb. Anyway, it happens. Should have turned some money into less terror. It's gonna be hard to get. You're far from light or hope. Terror is increasing rapidly. Okay, I'm gonna turn my light on. Z is wide and dark. Terror is increasing. Okay, we need to stay to land. If we stay close to land, it reduces your terror buildup. Z yeah, here you go. Okay, so stay close to land. We get less terror. Important. Where's the shore here? Music in this game is very good. There's the port. I want to just go to all these ports because they give. So what is that? Battle. I I'm like ready to fight everything now. Go backwards. We can shoot them in two shots, which is full power to the engine. If you ever need an extra turn of speed, clicking the full power icon will add. Add another barrel of fuel to the engine. This is occasionally hazardous. Interesting, I didn't even know that. I'm not doing that, though. We're still learning new things. Oh, he's gonna... Oh, God. I need three shots for this, but... Oh, God. No, did you hit me? Eight damage? That was such a... I should have shot one a little bit earlier, but that's fine. It happens. Uh, scoop it up. Perhaps you can eat it. But better yet, perhaps your Zaylers can. I'm doing this, I think. Yeah, we gain a Z story, which is really cool how this game works. So you gain like intel in all kinds of different ways. Basically, you're like kind of a, I don't know. I don't know how to describe this. You gain intel stories. It's like a very mysteriously cool game. Okay, I don't have to need to have my light on here. Wait, my terror got reduced. Oh, my terror is actually going down here. Wait, really? No. Oh god. Okay, there's pirates, but I think the pirates are extremely terrible. You're taking so much damage, though. Five damage, you piece of shit. I think I two-shot them. Oh, there you go. Idiot. Why did you find me? Yeah, we're losing so much terror. That's amazing. Okay, so that's actually a way to lose terror. I didn't even know that. Just staying at shore and turning on your lights. Uh, you've destroyed a pirate steam pinnace. And scuttle her. We gain a cache of curiosity, which we can then open, and then we can gain one fuel. Sometimes you get more, sometimes you get less. Uh, we did lose some hull, though, but we can turn supplies into hull if we need to. Uh, what is this? We can get terror down. Picnic at the standing stones. Sure, we'll do this. Uh, we've lost three terror, and we have an ambiguous... What, what is this? Your sailors watch the firefly shimmer, swap chanties, pass around the crog and shy stones at the more vampirically inclined z-bats. Grasses, grasses nod in the breeze across the dark water. The lights of Abbey Rock glow watchfully. Your bosun's hands... Your bosun hands you something, found a rock he reports laconically. There's so many big words. Get ready. I, some of these words aren't even big. I'm just stupid. Um, get ready for me to pronounce them all wrong. Pretty sure it's dead. Ambiguous Eolith? A thinking creature made this or the sea made this or both. Interesting. We need to pay attention though because our hull is pretty... F or our, our cargo is pretty limited. We could buy stuff here. And the, the reasonable price. It's, it's pretty expensive, but we got a lot of money because we sold a... Big treasure last episode. Compile a port report. There we go. Uh, we'll buy one supply. And just go. Keep going. Gotta keep our terror low. Okay, so we're trying to go to Visage, which is just straight down from here. We could go into the shadows here. And then go down to Visage. I don't want to do that. It's a little risky with the terror. What is this? Burning blue! A hiss of horror from the lookout. I think this is our first random event on sea. A hiss of horror from the lookout. The glim lamp at the front of the ship is sputtering and arcing, fizzing with blue light. Even as you watch, the blue fades, but it's not a good omen. 
I could have a 100% chance. There's a perfectly natural explanation. I think I'm doing that. Light meets dark. The darkness of the, in the neath is more than the absence of light. Light. It is a physical presence which might distort the shape of the world. Your light melts the darkness. Restore sanity to the world. You explain something of this to your Zaylers. Not the first time they've heard it, but they seem slightly less nervous. Okay. We gained one fragment, which fragments turn into secrets again, remember? Um, be a little careful, though. Our supplies are gonna... And also look for, for islands to land on. And send out a Z-Bat. There's no islands in Z-Bat range. I'm trying to be a little to the side so you can read that as well, but... No islands again. I guess if there's no islands here, this, this terror is gonna go up very fast now. Oh, what is how much how much do you have? I'm gonna fight you. You gonna battle? Why the fuck didn't you battle before? Oh, this is a big crew. Oh fuck, I can't. I'm not fighting. I'm not fighting. I'm not fighting. I'm not fighting. I starched my. Are you fighting? Oh, you're fighting. Oh fuck! Now we have to fight. Shit. That's so bad. That's so bad. Wait, I might actually die here. Five damage. I think we can win, but this is actually going to be... What the hell was that? My brother, do you have two guns? Can I repair? I can't repair at the same time. Oh, this is so bad. Okay. Uh, uh-oh. 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 Need to go to land slowly. How much... How much? Oh, oh, he missed. Oh, this is so bad. I think he's dying, though. Okay, this is actually going very well. Lol. What's he doing? He's missing. Okay, now we are winning. I mean, now I might as well end finish it off. Oh, 36 left. That's actually amazing. Wait, he can't fire from behind. We're chasing you now. This should give us something big. Oh god, he's gonna be so fast. Come on, idiot. Nice. Okay, uh, this was just all around bad, but it's fine. We win. But you still just one HP, you piece. Okay, there we go. There's another boot. Okay, I need to go back. I need to. This is terrible. Um, you have to be quick to sal salvage anything. Captain, quick over here again. You, the pirate poet is back. Didn't we already fucking do something with you? Rescue the power poet once again. You are victorious. Victor victorious. Have an officer rescue her. They can bring you her freedom prize. You have more important matters to attend to. Rescue her. Freedom prize is for... That's a lot of money, though. That's... I mean, that's super worth it. It's just now we need to be extremely careful because any fight here could end in our death. Actually, I kind of... I mean, we could turn in some... Oh, it's only available if your hole's 50 or better. Oh, this is terrible. Do I even want to be out here? I think I'm going back. I have enough money to... I think I'm going back to the fucking London. This was actually a terrible disaster. I mean, we're close to the... This is just so risky. And this is a permadeath game. So if you die, it's over. I think I'm going back. I know this is going to take a little bit. But... We're, we're permadeath here. This is, this is no, nothing to scoff at. We need to be careful. We could also... Oh, no, because we can't repair here. I mean, it's not that far. It's just going to cost us a lot of fuel. But again... 400 bucks. I think we're basically... It's basically a wash. We might even come out... No, uh, we probably lose a little bit. I just need a better gun, basically. And we go along something. We could have gone to Visage and then back. It's just, like, extremely risky. Like, imagine there's something along there. Like, any fight is gonna be disastrous. Maybe... And we can get another event. Oh, we could have done that here. Wait a minute. Modern Island is OP, right? I can sell some fuel there and then get more fuel out. 
Yeah, we don't have to purchase any fuel because we can just go to Mun Island. That's... I don't know if that's super reliable. We mostly need to buy supplies, which isn't even that bad. I think overall this is fine. And we once again beat the pirate poet, pirate poet or something. Um, I mean, 400 echoes is a very good price. Because we're basically, at this point, we got the, like a really good engine. We got a decent gun. We are mostly looking to upgrade our ship to the next level. Because then you can have more slots and you can have more, um, like, uh, more weapons. Because right now I can only have one weapon. But if I get a bigger ship, I can have two weapons, which will be huge. Okay, so I'm going to the shop. There's no shops available. Ripperoni. All right, uh, how much does my cargo? Oh, oh, wait, so we can just get everything. We can go wander along the shore. And then wreck it. Oh, there's something else this time. A con contest of riddles. Very modest challenge. When it's very low. We'll just do this one. A chancy challenge. You failed. I lost one echo. Whatever. Okay, so it doesn't happen all the time. You can buy supplies here. It doesn't seem very worth it. Okay, wait, was it Mudden Island? I swear it was Mudden Island, or was it the Shepherd Isles? We'll come back here, though. Hopefully we'll get another... Uh, something awaits you at port. Before we get to London. We should. Love how... How well-paced this game is. I know it's, like, pretty slow. But it kind of just adds to the mystery. Like, you gotta take it slow in this game. It's so much better than I remembered. I thought it, this was gonna be like a tear. I thought it was gonna make like one video on this game and it was just gonna be me dying like a few times and then being like, yep, this is the most mysterious, brutal, unbeatable game that I've ever played. But it turns out uh, that's not gonna be the case and we're actually doing pretty well. I don't know if they're going easy on us because... Um, <laughs> uh, can I lose more terror? I don't know if you can lose terror. I feel like we did. Doesn't seem like I'm losing terror, though, with the light on. Hi, uh, London, we're back. Is something gonna wait me at port here, though? Come on. Nice! Just in time. <laughs> okay. Collect messages from the Arbor Master. The blind bruiser has departed, so no more... Because he fought us last time, because we kind of fucked him over a little bit. We sold his smuggling goods. <laughs> Pretty bad. I hope... Maybe there is a time limit. I'm just not sure about this game. But anyway, we can sell our port reports for a bit of fuel. Tough challenge. I'll do it. You succeeded. I gained 50 echoes. This is like uh, submitting it as a fact instead of as hearsay. What we just did. We can turn these in. We get five echoes. Okay, that wasn't much. We got a little bit of fuel. All this. So we need to repair. We need to go to Dry Dock, which is over... Go to London here. We can go... Oh, we can also do this. I kind of want to do this. A marvelous night out. So we went a night out in the city. Sea shanties, fine food, and the warmth of a pub fire, and something more. <laughs> uh, you were fortunate. You've lost five terror. Got, you've lost 30 echoes. Okay. Well, we lost five terror. That's pretty good. And we got recent news. Oh, hi there. Trouble and romance. At night in Wolfstack, you find yourself sharing a table with someone whose name... You do not recall. We already talked to this lady before, the likely lass. Don't think I came down to the docks just to see you. I've got business here, but all right, it did cross my mind that you might drop by. You lost 10 hair a few hours together, shared warmth, new memories. It's hard to say goodbye this time. Okay. 10 terror down, that's amazing. Uh, put your ship in dry dock, yes, please. Um, a very chancy challenge. Oh, yeah, we can turn this. No, we don't want that. We want to completely repair our hole. It's 100 echoes, but... Okay, that was good. I think overall we, we, we ended up on top in that exchange. Uh, good enough for now. No, I would like to... We have... We have 14 fuel. I think I'm gonna buy some. Let's just do this first. Uh, go to the... London... Or Admiral... And we need this, yes. We failed, we just gained two fuel. We gained two more fuel, and then one more time, now we gain three fuel, nice. So we have 21 fuel again, and then we'll purchase the rest. I think 21 is more than fine, since we can also get it usually. Oh yeah, it's only 10 here. And then we purchase the rest supplies. Okay, good. 
So we made like a measly amount of money. Uh, <laughs> and we got some favors though. I mean, I guess we turned the favors into, we basically, it was basically a wash, it's fine. And we really lost some terror. So that's, that's all right. Okay, so we now we need to go to visit for real this time. Not, <laughs> no more bullshit along the way. Because I want to see if we can actually beat this game. There's so many ways to go through this game, though. Like, you can... This has so much replayability. Because at the start, you pick what you want to do as your main quest. And there were, like... I don't know, five different main quests or something? I chose the one where I want to figure out where my father's bones are. Uh, and I... And you could also choose your background, which I don't know if that matters much. But I was a scholar, I think. I'll keep my light on. Air management isn't that hard, actually. Just gotta turn off your off and off, off and on your light sometimes. Okay, we're close to. How is this the Z is less scary here? Okay, there's a uh, this guy. Wait, can I kill him before? That would be amazing. Come on, dude, 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 dude. I don't think we're gonna be able to kill him before. Ever hit my boat on something? Mirror's Haven. We'll explore the shore. Okay, we get this one. Something glinting. Driftwood, a smooth, dark surface. What is this? Oh, land is artifact. I think we can turn this in. This belongs to the museum. Actually, amazing. Longsy Museum, assuming that colonial imperial appropri appropriation for the purpose of hegemonic taxonomization is a suitable response to the problem of intercultural contact, which it probably is because museums are magnificent and institutions. Magnificent institutions. I, what are you talking about? That was just a fucking word soup right there. Excuse me. Uh, oh. Do something else. We can get a mascot. We don't want that. I would like to chat to the fisherman, get a report, which basically gives me nothing. Uh, we just keep going. I did. I click that button twice. Oh god, is that a, that's a friend, right? Or I don't even think you're real. I think you're actually a fake boat. Can you stay away from you. I think they usually disappear. Are you gonna disappear? I don't know what's happening with that man. I don't want to deal with it. Uh, we are doing a little... This is a bit risky, but whatever. Pause the game with Spaceport. That's good, too. You would know that. Reminds me of... I mean, not reminds me of, but... Pausing reminded me of playing FDL. Love FDL. One of my... Probably one of the only roguelikes I used to play. I was really not into them. I guess... I mean, this... I guess technically is a roguelike. Um... Yes. Basically got no terror. I'm gonna just land everywhere again. We're basically retracing our, our steps. <laughs> but every time you get events and stuff, it's so cool how many different events there are. Really fun. Terror go up a little bit, lose some le a little less fuel. Cause the light takes fuel by the way. That's why I turn it off sometimes. Just need to be careful of the pirate ship. And imagine once you get more money, or once you get stronger, and you can just fight those pirate ships for free 400 bucks. Um, what is this? Picnic at the Standing Stones. I'll do that. We've lost three terror again. That's pretty good. Compile a port report. Nice. Some quick stuff. Now we continue to the Station 3, which is a very weird place. I don't, I don't think we can get in there. I think you need something. I don't even think I can do a port report there. But I don't want to make the same mistake. You know what? I could stop by Abbey Rock. I think we're going to go this way and then down the Visage instead. Because I don't think Station 3 even gives you a report. You need to have a box to get in there, which I don't know. Uh, they said, it'll be clear when you find the box. <laughs> they were like, they were being all like, if you know, you know. Uh, I guess if I know, I know, which I don't know, so I don't know. 50 fragments. We discovered the Sisterhood. Every time you discover a new place, you get fragments, which will turn into secrets. Uh, 20 echoes. Sell my supplies. Completely stupid. Uh, Abbey Rock, Port Report. I could trade in my recent news. 
I've lost two terror. That's all right. I sh probably wasn't very valuable, but whatever. Okay. We're just collecting those port reports. Is, it, is there something going to be in here? I want to find out. There's an island. Probably just nothing. Looks like these islands are pretty far apart. So the, the spaces that I didn't explore are not really important. Unless the sea bat range is just terrible. It might be. Because they... So every time you die, the islands will move slightly. I guess this is... There's just space between them, so they have space to move around. I'm gonna get a lot of terror here. We're only... Oh, yeah, 28 terror. That's not very... Iron Republic, I think, was, like, kind of useless. I don't need to go there. What is this? It's pretty... Uh, is that a monster? It's kind of moving. I don't like it. Oh, no. That's the island we're going to. Never mind. Well, not the island we're doing this trip for, but... Freaky for sure. Fathom. Oh, the Fathom King's Hold. Hey, this new engine is actually doing pretty good for us. We're using a lot more fuel, though. Kind of bad. What just happened? Why did it go full screen all of a sudden? I'm scared. Lorcan's port, named for that most enterprising of drownies. Phosphor cells burn green. Somewhere below, the king awaits. The Fathom King's hold, like an iceberg, like a bizarre master scheme. Like, like a bizarre master scheme, like the neath itself. Most of the hold is invisible. You see only a tiny portion of sculpted coral. The rest waits below the surface. The Fathom King's bone rooms and aquaria, his pearl snares and dining chambers. Descend to an audience with the Fathom King. Uh, I will compile a port report first, and then I guess we'll turn in a Z story for this. Uh, she opens, I, I can get in, thank you. Okay, the, pirate, the Fathom King is back. Do we even do anything here? Oh, you can do this. Watch a visager. Right? Oh, hey, hey, look at this. So this is... We we went to visage and we got a bunch of stuff there. Or, like, we did a whole story with masks, which was really cool. Watch a visager. Crocodile moves around a corpse offering on a beer. Clockwise. He indicates its wounds to the Fathom King. Why is he here? Another right. Crocodile is describing the wounds on the body, but the wounds he describes don't match the wounds you see. This is another visage ritual. He sounds like he's boasting, but a single tear trickles down from beneath his mask. At last, the king nods. The offering is acceptable, he says. Born armored guards carry the beer through a dark slit, slit behind his throne. The king begins, begins offhandedly to outline the cartography of the deep undersea and the patrol routes of monsters. He notices your presence and snaps his fingers. The guard ushers you out, but not before you've heard valuable deep gossip and you understand a little more visage lore. Crocodile has given this body to another kind of flood. We we gained a Z-story again, and 30, I guess we just turned into a Z-story for a Z-story. <laughs> All right then, <laughs> sure. That was the <laughs> elaborate way to do that. All right. I did full screen, got me. Feeling weird. Need to go with the visage, but let's go down a little bit. There might be something over here. Oh, good. Got much health? Oh no, there's an enemy here. I didn't even what the hell. How much health do you got? Whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? Did you die? What the hell was it? Oh. I don't know if you have to wait for it to fully load up. This is bad. Is it even doing anything? Oh, it's making my terror go up or something? What the hell is this enemy? Oh my god, it's gonna fucking insane! Lorn! It's so fucking tanky! Help, 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 help! I didn't even know that. Oh god, this thing is insane. Oh, I'm gonna die. 20 damage! Go fucking the shore, go ashore, go ashore. This is the damn worst thing of all time. Oh no, oh no. Oh god, what was that, man? 
Okay, we're gonna wait. Uh, okay, don't fight that thing. Holy shit, that could have ended with us that dead for sure. Oh no. I just have to stick here for a while. This is fucked up. I'm gonna lose my mind if we die here. I'm gonna sit here for a bit. I think we'll just take like five minutes off or something. <laughs> okay, never mind. It's not that bad. He's going. He's going away. Uh, I am not going down here anymore. This is terrible again. Okay, we're going to Vistage, though, goddammit. If we die here, we die. We, we, we can't keep going back and forth. This is gonna lead to nothing. Okay, so stay away from the monsters like that. Holy shit, what a crazy beast. Probably gonna be really good to kill that. Seemed... So we need to stay very close. Places we can land, because they are safety. Man, if only. We could have avoided that whole fight. It just sucks that I couldn't see the health bar. Maybe it's because of my UI scaling or something, but man. We could have seen the health bar there, we would have never fought that. We could have seen it was 600 health. You need to be very careful to not fight things that you can't beat. Like, some areas are just off-limits for you. That's a part of the ocean. I do not like that. We are in a bad spot right now. I don't see anything, though. Go straight towards Visage and never look back. This will be lost to crew during that, by the way. Visage here. This is the island with the face. This is that island we were talking about. Look at that. Okay. Man, we're losing so much fuel, actually. That's bad. Visage! Get a port report. Go ashore. Firms. Yeah, yeah, we know we have to put on a mask. The assigner of corpses. One of these masked strangers is the assigner of corpses if the gracious widow is to be believed. But which? The interrogate the interrogate the visitors. The visitors seem reluctant to discuss the matter, even with frog. In which I'm a frog, by the way, I have a frost frog mask on. Everyone here wears a mask and acts like a certain way. Like a stereotype of the animal. Interrogate the visitors. Interrogate the visitors. The visitors seem reluctant to discuss the matter, even with Frog. It is distasteful, or forbidden, or inconvenient, but surely someone will let something slip. The blankness of masks. A man in a crocodile mask trundles on ibis masked corpse. On an ibis masked corpse. On a wheeled beer. Is this the assigner of corpses? He shakes his head. This corpse was assigned to the Fathom King, he explains. I go now to the hold. The Fathom King knows why. Was that a meaningful pause? If no one here will speak to you of the assigner and his assignments, might the Fathom King know more? I already did that! <laughs> Wait, what? Excuse me? I guess we go back again? Oh, we did this. If... Wait, we already did this. Can we not do this? Find the fat. You piece of shit, we just came from there! <laughs> okay, well... I, uh, I can't click this. I guess I sign in. A changing room? Okay. Uh, I already talked. I can leave. Can I leave? We already did this. Wait, what? Should I just put the frog mask on again? Wait, do I have to do all of this again? Excuse me. Enter performance. We already did this. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna do that all again. Okay, so this is bad because we need to go in the area again where we die, or where we could die. So I guess we have to go to the Fathom King. We need to stay clear of that big sea urchin, which we should be able to do. We just gotta go. There's also a cyclone here, which we need to be careful of. This is uh, adrenaline inducing. That's for sure. Oh, this is bad. We need to keep the light on. Oh, I hate it here. Fucked up, man. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, my terror is going crazy mode. Don't hit the wall. Don't hit the wall. I'm gonna keep my light on. Turn off the light now. 
I don't know if I I don't understand. Okay, here we go. Full screen again. Now what? Send to the yes, we have a Z story. Discuss the matter of your father's bone, your complexity. I have a more personal petition. You know something of my father or what remains of him. His complexity is watching you. His eyes are cold as polished stones, but a smile lurks at the corner of his mouth like an eel in ambush. Ask for assistance. Your complexity, there's a question only you can answer. You open the final gate of my journey to my father's bone and I ask this boon of you. All this... All this for the name of a mask? No, no, no. Little favors, you are fortunate, the Fathom King announces. I have only a few small requests. Fulfill, requests. Fulfill them and I shall tell you what you need to know. Bring me the heart of a legend. Bring me a light from the sky. Bring me a willing guest to stay with me forever. But this the end. This just seems like a lot of big requests. Excuse me? Witness the end of the eldest amongst its kind. Bring me word. Bring me fruit of an eternal tree. And bring me something scientific. Modern cutting edge, I believe, is the term. My bright enjoys that sort of thing. It sits back under the regions pulsing with expectation. You seem quite capable, he adds carelessly. I'm sure it's not too much trouble. We can re- Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what? That's insane. Oh, we need to request the skylight. Okay, the skylight, the visions of the sky is fine. We can do that. This one, we might have to kill the pirate poet and then put them in our containment or like capture them. Um, and then the fathom kind is requested out of the eld. Okay, so this is a lot of stuff. Excuse me. All right, well, I guess that's it. Speak of other matters. Oh boy. And then I would like to ask a boon of the king. Five fuel! That's good. Okay, nice. All right, we need to leave this area ASAP. And then I guess it's time to... Wait, we could go to the, to the sky thing. Grab that and just keep it for a while. We go to the Iron Republic as well. I guess we might as well. I don't know if there's anything here. I think they didn't care about this report, though. Okay, so we're gonna have to go over to these areas. I am scared, though. There's gonna be some crazy stuff there. They're learning more. Man, this is crazy. Permadeath for a game with such a long main quest? I mean... That's... that's pretty wild. Oh, good. <gasps> the music of this fucking place every time scares the shit out of me. I thought it was like the... Dredge anglerfish goes going. You're about to be hit by something massive. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. Okay. Iron Republic. Reminds me of the old Iron King area in uh, Dark Souls 2. What do we do? Compile a port report. We've lost one page. Are you fucking kidding me? Act and fiction to record the Republic's event. It is like trying to sing, wax, or believe water. You do what you can. The third paragraph, Bud's eyes. The date is fundamentally wrong. The full stops bite. You do what you can. Okay, well, I guess I don't go here. This place sucks. We've gained a tale of terror <laughs> and a memory of distant shores. Oh, I gained another terror. How nice. Piece of shit. Wait, fuel is insanely cheap here? This is insanely cheap as well, excuse me. Wait. I'm just gonna buy... Wait, this is actually crazy? I'm pretty sure this was... Like, over a hundred. Alright. Wait, this is actually amazing? Pretty sure we're gonna make so much money if we return to London now. I didn't... I, I need to learn about the... Where you can sell and buy stuff, because that's one way to make a lot of money. Is to like trade the buy low sell high um we stay close to the shore i think we're just gonna stay close to the shore here the whole way try and make our way through without fucking perishing 
Gonna be a scary. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> okay. I not want to be there. Oh boy. Is this not terror inducing at all? Want to explore this part of the. Oh, there we go. We can get the, a vision of the light here. We can finish one of his requests. I just have a few small requests. Like, can you do like seven massive things for me? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you piece of shit. What the hell, man? Nice, okay. Can I not explore this? Yeah, this is the gate to... I think you can... This is one of the endings you can... Probably the easiest ending to get because you just need a lot of supplies. And then you can go up here. Restless night. In the watches of the night, you pass softly past the hatch to your crew quarter. What is that all about? Uh, by the port report, and then listen for surface gossip. You now have one moves in the great game. A sorry end. Card game ends badly when one surface sailor's knife, when one surface sailor knifes another for all the usual reasons. The other player scrabble for the coins that spill from her pockets but you snatch up a scrap of paper they overlook curious markings dates times code names spies work cool so we need to come back here another time yeah you can leave travel to the surface if you have two supplies and 22 fuel which you can just leave <laughs> ensure you're well stocked with supplies and fuel or you may never return but I'm not gonna do that. I want to do the full thing. What is Restless Nights? In the watches of the night, you pass softly past the hatch. These artworks are cool, by the way. Um, man cries out softly in his sh sleep, desperately. Other something. Ignore them. Inquire about their dreams the next morning. You succeeded. I, I gained 10 terror. This must be... This was a complete fucking disaster. Eyes and a face, the whole neath lit up like a snuffer mask. There's something in the roof, Captain. It is the roof. It's watching us. Eyes and a face. Eyes and a face. Yes, you say softly. You lay your hand on the Zaylor's burning forehead. There are storms in the roof. Hush, we won't join them yet. I succeeded and I've gained 10 terror. That was a complete waste <laughs> of everything. Okay. Don't do... I mean, I should have known with that artwork and the Restless Night title that it was going to be bad. Didn't expect it to be quite that bad, though. How is that a success? Excuse me. I mean, we're almost got another secret. Okay, so we're gonna go to... I guess this is just nothing. We'll just go to Mudden Island, but we'll stick to the shore to get less terror. Especially now that everything went wrong. I mean, I guess we'll just go straight. Otherwise, it's gonna be a really long way around. Yeah, we also need more fuel. Hey, that could have gone a whole lot worse. We could have died there. So I, I say that was a... That was an optimal outcome with that giant sea urchin thing. Maybe that was what I did so wrong when I first played this game. I was just like, I gotta fight it. And you just shoot it and you die. And you're like, what? Oh, fog is spooky, apparently. Spooky fog. Breaker's Haven, we will can do Oh we didn't get a oh shit. I will drink here. Lost one terror for 20 things. Alright, fuck me. Okay, can we like move a little bit? I feel like the shore should almost happen. But like something happens at shore, but I guess we're just gonna move. I guess we'll come across this on the way back, but we're gonna fill up with fuel. You know what? I kinda wanna just do a circle here. Go to Abbey Rock as well. Oh god, a pirate ship. No. I don't know if it's gonna be worth it, but I remember this gives you so much fuel here. Don't you dare fucking fight me. I am not in shape for this. Can I please get the damn ding-dong sound. 
Ding dong, please. This is not worth it. I've never done this before. I don't know if there's like a, a thing that goes against just fucking going in circles. There might be. This is so not worth it. There we go, okay. Something way too important. Okay, this is probably was a bad idea, but at least I will know. And we get some fuel here. Explore the shore. Click the wrong button. What is this? A concert. As you prepare to go ashore, your first officer salutes. Captain, four of the crew intend to perform in a concert on the Z shore. You and I are both invited to attend and perform. So we'll select another exploration option. It'll be good for morale, and perhaps some of them can actually carry it to ensure. We'll do that. Oh. Torches in the night. The cook has converted pots into kettle drums. The quartermaster has improvised pan pipes. The squand eyed fellow from Shepherd's Wash has brought brought out an actual fiddle. They set up a dark on a dark beach lit by torches on poles and do eight folk songs, a mischievous music hall number called The Empress Likes Them Quiet, and an odd, restless little tune like a caged cat. My own composition, the watchman confides. Honestly, you're not very good. They're not very good. They are unrehearsed and uneven, and the presence of something serpentine in the surf cuts them off. But those homely sounds are here on the deep doorsteps. Something about it lifts the hearts. Okay. We gain a memory of distant shores, and we gain- We lost three there. All right, it wasn't the worst. Could have definitely gone better, though. I'm just gonna go. We have enough fuel to make it to London. Yeah, for sure. Oh! There's a- We can- We have to fight now? Fuck. Can I even shoot this? I killed it in one shot? Excuse me? How'd that happen? Am I being baited here? What the fuck? Sure then. I'll just suck it for knowledge this time because we can get a secret there, yes. We have another secret. Because there was uh, if I was at high high hunger I would have done it, but we just ate a supply, so there's no reason. You don't get a supply. Imagine you got a supply from it. That would be huge. All right, London. We're back. Back in your shores. And we're basically at the terror we started off with. And we learned of the massive side quest, or the massive quest we have to do. Nice. Maybe some cool things will happen in London. There's probably lots of events that can happen here. And the music. <laughs> is so charming in a weird Lovecraftian way. Nothing awaits. We got a free evening. Someone wants to sign on. Uh, what do I have? I don't have strategic information. Let's see. Can I sell this? So I make three bucks. <laughs> I mean, it's a profit. <laughs> it's a profit. I think I bought him for 57, right? Well, whatever. We'll sell them all. Yeah, no, no big profits there. But hey, we made a little bit of cash. Worth something. And we have uh, a casket of this. We'll sell as well. Yeah, that was pretty nice. Overall. Just, I mean, some money. Okay, uh, Admiral, I need to give you torch reports. A tough challenge. We'll do this again. We'll fail... And then we still gain a fuel, but no, uh, no favor, admiralty favor. It doesn't really matter. 20 echoes. Five echoes? They don't even give a shit? Well, if you've been there, I suppose we may as well hear about it. The fee is nominal, though. Literally five bucks. Iron Republic. Wait, this is blank. Yes, both sides. No, no, I assure you. No, I know. These things happen in the Republic. Consider. Okay, they are not very impressed. We do lose a terror, though. Visage. Um, did we not do this before? 40? Nice. That's a lot of money. I guess you can just go there for a lot of money every time. Five Echoes. Fathom Kings hold. 30 Echoes for that one. So that one is pretty... Okay, that's good though. How many... Can we see that? How many things we have? 
and turn them in a little bit. Three fuel, and I have ten favors still. Okay, so we're gonna repair completely the hull. This will completely repair your hull. Okay, nice. 75 hull power, hull points again. And then... I guess we'll get some more fuel. We have 18. I would like to get 21 again. 21, perfect. And then we just purchase all the supplies again. We definitely have more supplies than fuel. I think I'm gonna do... Uh, how much more hull do I have? 32? We'll do one more challenge. Two, so now we have 23, and then we'll fill up the rest with that. But let's see. You want something, right? Here, you want an outlandish artifact and an ambiguous eoloth? Eoloth? What does this give me? Or is there, can we do that in the roast market? We can also do this. Let's see. Wait a minute, we can do both of these. I've never been able to interact with the Roser's Wharf. The Rose Market caters to collectors and eccentrics, anyone with exotic tastes and the gumption to harass sea captains. According to the Arcane, archaic rules of the market, you can only make one trade per visit. Choose wisely. People at the Rose Market will pay above the usual price for specific goods. Okay. Can I turn this into the Scholar as well? A game, a move in the Great Game? No, but maybe for you. You can get it, a move in the Great Game here. You know what? I'll do the, uh, this thing. Because I really want to know the move in the great game with the diplomat. I'll do this. Collector. Wait. The veteran privy counselor is seeking an outlandish artifact. He is there surveying curios from distant ports with palace servants in muted slippers. The empress dislikes loud noises. A collector of sorts. The veteran privy counselor holds a mirror behind the artifact and examines the reflection. Hmm, yes. Inferior to London workmanship's... Ob Workmanship, obviously, but it will make an acceptable conversation piece non nevertheless. He snaps his pee fingers at a servant. Pay the captain. Okay, so you get 150. That's pretty solid, though. And now we can turn the great game into you. The diplomat takes no notes, only listens with the utmost concentration. Fingertips touching, eyes lightly closed. The payment is small, but welcome. Okay, so that didn't do much, but we gained 50 echoes, sure. And then you want something, so we still, still need... Romantic literature for you and spider silk, if we can get that somehow. You gotta pay something? Where do you want this? I'll pay a thousand echoes for the seven? Wait, what? How do you pay for this? 1500 echoes. That's such a bullshit. I could just sell that for better. Oh, I can go to the canate. Okay, I need to buy it from the canate. We get 1500 for that. Anyway, um,. We could do this one again. I think I'm doing this. We we don't really need a crew. We were fortunate. We lost five terror. We gained recent news and that's it, I guess. And then this again. Don't think I came down to the docks. We'll do this. You've lost. This is so good. Nice. Every time you lose 10 terror. Amazing. Um, What else? A new recruit. Is there another person here? Uh, Determined doctor. Engage an officer. The haunted doctor. I don't think that's a good idea. We already have a doctor, and they're not haunted. Oh, wait, what's this? Engage an officer, the genial magician? What are you? Good afternoon, Captain. Perhaps I can do your engines some good. No, ha ha ha, I'm quite the engineer. Difficult to credit, isn't it? But here are my references. Interesting. Chief engineer, what will you do? Increase veils and mirrors? Engine power plus 100 is so good. I mean, maybe you'll be better. I don't think... I this is cool, though. Every time you're going to get new people on your boats and, like, have new stories. Because these people have, like, stories of their own. This is such a creative game. Uh, I could just buy a crew for five. Oh, sure, we'll do that. Lost one terror and we gain a crew. Nice. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's almost everything. We could lose a terror here for 10 echo. Purchase an elegant townhouse. A good address on Hollow Street. It won't be cheap. Interesting. You can buy a house. We got so much money. We're gonna, I'm just going to keep the money, honestly. I'm going to buy six supplies. We're just going to keep the money and like slowly save up for a better boat. Uh, which we can buy right here. I definitely... I think I want this one with the increased hull. That'd be huge. 3,000 Echo, and then we have a forward and a deck slot. So then we have the, um, we have deck, forward, auxiliary, bridge, and engine. So we have, we can compare right here. So we get a forward slot, which is a gun slot. 
is amazing. Um, yeah, this seems a little crazy, having this huge ship. I mean, and these are so, so expensive. I think I'm gonna buy that ship first, but anyway. We need to go over to this side. I think the Khanate Nation is over here. So we just go straight through. Go over there, I guess. We go through all these... I don't know if that's that's gonna be risky, but, like, we can't stick close to this forever. Gotta do some... Venturing east. Terror is okay. I mean, if we can just find like a few new things up here, I would already be content. Gonna be be careful. I got the recent news. Could turn that in here, I think, but I don't really know if I care. As long as we get the belt of ding here. No ding dong. No ding dong. Guess we're not going there. I mean, I can get a port report, actually. Backwards is probably extremely slow. It is extremely slow. Ding it. Ding it. Giving you time to ding. Alright, no ding, whatever. Uh, we'll just take the report news news i could go in whatever it's fine i don't care about you guys we're going through this to see if we can explore something new i don't know if i never went here because of evil hope not i mean we got enough money to go back to london even completely empty-handed and be able to refuel for a different trip. It's not like we're in danger. Is that a new island? Looks like something. Yes, there is nothing. It's just a rock. They didn't care at all about Vendor Bright, so going there is basically pointless. You're close to land. No islands. Alright, this place is, I guess, just kind of useless. What's this again? I think it was a ship. What is that? Sparkle. Oh, there's so oh, the sparkles are the buoys. Ooh, right, whatever you call those. Wait, that's... Vanderbright? That's Vanderbright. Yeah, we don't need to go there. Alright, I guess we're cutting through here. We talked. Is this ship gonna have something as well? Like an event? Her is really fine, actually. I think this is a ship since it doesn't have a name. There you are. We still got a lot of fuel. We are, like, already really far from London. You can always buy fuel at a high price in a different place. Speak to the crew with the recent news. It's twice the usual price. It's not that special, actually. I think we'll buy a little bit. You know what? I'll just buy everything here. It's not that bad. So we are, I mean, that's twice the usual price, but whatever. I could give you some news, but that might just give me fuel and I just spend money on it. So I'm not going to do that. I must be careful because we are moving into uncharted territories. Which could lead to disaster. I'm not careful. Keep your light on so you don't accidentally sneak up on a massive sea creature. me by the way an old sailor other big creature there's fog there this is making me extremely nervous it could be oh there's an island it's a new island why is that not an island is that pick mode isle what is this fucking maze up here what the hell built by aliens 
This has to be a location, right? Excuse me? Oh boy. Oh boy. That's a big crab. That's a giant enemy fucking crab, dude. That's a giant crab. Stay away from everyone. Here is fucked. Oh my god, everything here sucks. How am I supposed to go past this? Fucking massive shark. I can't go anywhere here. I guess we go up? I don't want to get past those. It was extremely dangerous. Are we going to be... I guess we need more hull before we can go through this area. Or we need to like find a sneaky way around it. Going up to... I'm going to hide the officer. There's stuff. Stay close to those. Those are safe. No islands in range, huh? This is a bad idea. That's where we die. My greedy. What the heck is this? There's buoys. I'm following the safety of the buoys. Oh, Mount Palmerston. Up here. Okay. New island. Safety. Safety! Hopefully. Let's go. Okay, that's scary, man. I don't know what this is going to be, but it's a place. That's all that matters. Mount Palmerston. Stone? <clears throat> Sudden lights glow green at the jetty's edge. Behind the port building, the island is knee-deep in ash. There are ruins here, and here and there, of houses destroyed by fire. Far above the mountain's top flickers red, just for an instant. Explore the island. Tangles of thorn scrub climb the rocky slopes of the volcano. Engage an officer to merciless... Modest... Cool. Who are you? A first officer? That'd be interesting. We could do... I mean, you have to go all the way down to get cheap linen and then do this. Get to the port folk about the Brimstone Convention. There was a revolution in hell. And the aristocracy of devils fled here. They, here they plot in exile. Dig among the ruins. Music. Port report. For the island, Vista, your sweetheart. Oh, we can think about stuff. I think sweetheart will lose stress, which is really important right now. And terror, there we go. Nice. Dig among the ruins. Perhaps the villagers left valuables behind. You could pick up over their remains to see what you might find. You ghoul. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Any shop here? Extremely cheap fuel. What the hell? Supplies are also pretty cheap. How much did this give me? Did I even sell it? I completely fucking forgot that. Oh, that would have been so important to know. Hmm. I'm assuming it's more than. I should. I should have done that. That's my bad. Um, music here is amazing. Guess I'll buy two fuel for real cheap, and then two supplies, and then we'll buy two of this. Just oh, that doesn't even take up a slot. I'll buy just two of that. I don't know. I don't think we should turn all our money into this. I mean, this might be like if we can get even a small pay out here, that might be big. I'm gonna also buy this, and I'll buy. Another fuel. This is a good place, though. Good to keep that in mind. Can I unlock it, though, on the map? Not on the map. Oh, new places to unlock. What the fuck is that ship? What the fuck is that ship? That's fucking terrifying. Can I please explore this? All I want to do is explore it. 
Found Palmerston. Thank you. Oh, that's a big text on the screen. Okay, so now we just need to follow the buoys and get further. I think I am in a place I am not supposed to be, but... There could be, like, one fucking ship here that does, like, 50 damage. Huh? I don't know. Very... Giant fucking cyclone. Nothing here. Another buoy. I am very spooked. The sailor is praying. Me too. I am praying too, my friend. Frost found. Hey, we're finding new places though. That's cool. Albeit at the risk of my life right now. What the hell is this place? This is crazy. Looks like it will be the dock. Yes, it is. Oh my god, what is this? Holy shit. Dude, now that's a screenshot right there. Good god, man. That's wild. And we're getting so many fragments here. Holy shit. That's just amazing. What a place. Lothard's Haven. <clears throat> Frost found towers and ramps and galleries and stairs of ice and spun like an architect's honey drink. What the hell? Oh, this is where you get spider soap. No spider ever wove so complex a web. Tower are the towers are utterly pristine, untouched by human life. But a pitiable encampment squats by the rock, by the dock. Engage an officer, the tireless mechanic. <clears throat> hey there. Sometimes available for hire in London or distant ports. Deals and fuel efficiency. That's extremely good. Fuel efficiency, 20 echoes to have this guy on board? I'm doing it. Welcome aboard. You now have a tireless mechanic. Fuel efficiency plus 5%. Instead of... That is better though. <laughs> Engine power, but that just costs more. That's not very much, huh? I don't know if keeping these is bad. Like, it's gonna cost you more food? Probably does. Can you kick them off? Oh, you can increase your veils again here. Invite him to dine with you. Uh, I would like to... <clears throat> okay, Frost found has fallen off the screen. Take tea with the squatters at the dock. Uh, create a port report. That's cool. I should have read that, but whatever. Speak to the Iremi contact. Uh... Take tea with the squatters at the dock. Some of them wear robes of Eremi riddlefish. Some of them look like withered folk. But even more, but even more ragged. They do seem a little more practical than either of those people. Sure. Surprising warm welcome. We're keeping the steps of the game of truths. A helpful riddle fisher explains as she fills her cup for the third time. Every year, the people of Irem and Wither meet here. Or four, she pauses. Contests. She finishes vaguely. The difference between a question and a riddle. One day someone will prove themselves enough to answer the, answer the castle. You spend a pleasant two hours while the tea is supplemented with Iremi liquors, ale, withered beer, and something the riddle fisher describes blandly as snake cake. They offer you fuel and supplies before you leave. You keep enough to spare. The riddle fisher grins. From time to time, a captain gets lost and comes up here, and we always feel bad for them. You've lost 10 terror? That's amazing. Uh, I will speak to your Eremi contract. I failed it. Fuck you. You've completed your commission. Return to the Admiralty. And the towers topple. Which Troy was drowned? How many battles until the iridescence? Who went east? Perhaps the Riddlefisher is trying to help. 
Perhaps they're trying to drive you out of your mind. You are forced to give up. The mission is a failure. That fucking sucks. Cannot enter Frostfound. Your terror is greater than 20. You should not enter Frostfound without a good reason. Okay, I'm not gonna enter Frostfound without a good reason then, huh? Okay, can we- you get- can you get Frost- the silk here? Okay. Very cool and creepy at the same time. Now we need to be careful. And all these places are so fun. Okay, so we're just gonna go uh, <clears throat> to the next thing. I am far away from home. Right is to the north. Oh, this is very close. Wait, what? That's on the same island? Oh, it's just gonna be something that I can explore, huh? Not gonna be actually a discovered bright. Yeah, it's just a blight. Okay. Gonna be buoys here. There's nothing in range. I am extremely nervous. What is that? That's a snowstorm or something. Buoy. <gasps> what is that, brother? What is that? Oh no 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 I should have turned on my light. I should have turned on my light. Oh god. What the hell is that? Holy shit that is evil. I am terrified. I don't know if I should be here anymore. Can I go around that somehow? That's where I die. Pretty close to this island. What's that? Please? There's a big ship. Nuncios? Oh, no, 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 no. I can't go there. Am I off the deep end? I think I'm off the deep end, man. There's fucking giant fish everywhere. I don't want to be here. Can I go here? Can I make it past this thing? No, I can't. Can I? I'm close to a, a port that should be safety. I think the HQ will blow your horn. There's just no useful function. It may provoke CBs. Why would I do that then? Not a location. There's not something to explore. This looks pretty as hell. Oh no, oh no. I'm gonna sneak up on this island. What the hell? It's a rat king? There's a Nuncio. I don't want to battle. I do not want to battle. I just want to go here. Oh God, he's gonna fight me. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, he's only got a very limited amount of crew. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Do not return sender. Nuncio. As it turned, as he turned functionaries, walked a dock in the uniform of postman. An enormous crowded, crowned statue Cast a chilling shadow. The shadows gleam with rats' eyes. Their ceaseless chittering rolls like the tide. Go to the postman's tavern. The inky blotter, it's called. The sign doesn't look like much. Or along the beach. Assemble a port report. <clears throat> I would like to do that. There's the statue in the middle of the island. It's hard to miss. There's the way... Everyone wears a uniform, and there's what they call- and there's the way they call each other by their ranks in the postal service. There's the way the port authorities refer to regulations. There's the jargon, the curious habit of referring to any used-up thing as cancelled, as though the whole world were made of stamps. You write about vestigial bureaucracy and about trappings of order retained far from home. The fuck? Pretty expensive stuff here. Go to the postman's tavern. Warmer in sight than it looks. Allow the clattery heir to offer her services. Wait, what? 
inky blotter lit by two roaring fires, one either end of the room. This feels so much more special to be here right now because the struggle to get here was so scary. <laughs> like, it actually feels like you're in a foreign land. Or, like, far removed from where your safety is and you're not supposed to be here. Inky blotter lit by two roar- But it also kind of feels safe at the same time because you know you're safe at the, sh at the forts. Hit by two roaring fires, one at either end of the room. The bartender is in postman's uniform, like almost all of the patrons. A noseless postal inspector called Blunt Thomas delivers the drinks, flares tables, stacks the firewood. Allow the claytory air to offer her services. She could remove the call from a postal worker. It wouldn't be a worker anymore, of course. Listen in on postal tall tales. Do I have another surgeon? I think I do. So if she dies, I... It'd be okay. <laughs> oh, fuck. Listen in on postal tall tales. Fishermen brag about fish that got away. Postmen brag about hard deliveries. Ask why the local currency consists of rats. Two strings of rats for a pint of ale. Three strings for wine. Five for the tolerable brandy under the bar. What the hell? Ask about the big, uh, I'll do this. The hairless postwoman won't hear of it, but you do get one taker. I miss London, he says. I'm tired. The insides of my mouth taste like stamp glue. Lund Thomas gives you a bottle of rum and the use of the basement. No amenities, but I don't fancy cleaning the blood off a better floor. The patient takes off his uniform the last time, and lies on the cold floor. No spectator, says the Clydery air harshly, and puts you out of the room. He comes out later with a scrap of skin from the patient's chest. The patient follows, whistling a tune from Mahogany Hall. Now have one Clydery souvenir. You now have one Clydery treatment nuncio. What the fuck? Well, listen to the post tall tales. Delicate bottles lowered down chimneys on a rope. Do not fold under any circumstances. Letters curled through a narrow slot. Rattling, groaning crates brought back to the same address every day for 22 days running. The windows they pried open, the servants they bribed, the delivery sur surcharges they paid out of their own salaries just to get rid of one more packet. It is hard to tell... Which they hate more, the senders of the mail or the recipients. Stands to reason, if the message was a welcome one, they tell the other fellow in person. Reflects the hairless postwoman. You now have won a newcomer ex nuncio, cultivating friendships with postman. Uh, ask why the local currency consists of rats. Scarcity is not an issue. The hairless postwoman at the end of the bar smiles mirthlessly. Or maybe it's just the lack of eyebrows that does it. Long enough carrying the things around, you get into the habit, she says. And she tells you that if you stay out late enough, you'll see some of the postmen making a procession to the center of the island, string up rats around the statue like jewelitide decorations in prayer to an ancient deity of this place. From the coughing and choking elsewhere in the pub, you'd guess this is a story they often tell to newcomers. <laughs> what? Ask why the hairless postwoman is hairless. Faux pas. No, she says. Curt. Not pleased, you ask. You asked. Not pleased, you asked. Still had eyebrows when I came to Nuncio. The postman at the next bench diverts you. Speak in a low vo speaks in a low voice. Lots of people find habits when they can't deliver the post anymore. This one has a plucking habit. Best to learn, not to notice. You glance up. The hairless postwoman is still glaring at you. Whoops. You've lost one. I am a newcomer again. Uh oh, don't do that stuff. Ask about the big statue in the center. The monumental, the monumental postman. Oh, that? It's all of us, isn't it? Sort of the spirit of the island. Most of them don't seem troubled for for more of an explanation than that. Than that. Though the hairless postwoman tells you it didn't always look like a fallen London postman at all. It had used to have a different face and a more old-fashioned outfit. Okay. Ask how they occupy themselves. Dead letter office. Big building. Center of town. Hard to miss. You can work there too if you want. It's not clear whether this is a generous offer or a threat. Okay. We can deliver letters. That will be useful. We'll get some money. Hopefully. 
Back to the docks. Go to the try a shift at the dead letter office. Extensive tour. Blunt Thomas takes you around the office, a small collection room where those retrieving letters may state their business. A much larger set of back offices where newly arrived letters and parcels are collected and sorted. A dank, briny smell that never goes away, presumably because so many of the parcels spend time in the water before they arrived here. In the back room is a machine, manned, ratted, <laughs> by a postal rat. A rat is f Faber, in a pinstriped hat. It shovels sludge-damp letters into the machine's hopper, and they come out dried, cleaned, pressed, and sorted into slots by size and quality of paper. I wor I'm working shifts now? What the hell? Shift work in the dead letter office. One has various possible occupations here. None could be described this fast pace. Very chancy challenge. Uh, pretty good odd. Odds. Conver converse with the postal rat. How did he get into this line of work? Cultish. Postal rat has a pair of spectacles on his re on and is re-lettering the front of a water-damaged envelope, working over the original letters with a tiny brush and ink pot. The repairs are likely to take most of the afternoon. <laughs> I like to think myself of myself as being in the resurrection business, he says, stopping to look at you seriously for a minute. Where circumstances permit, taking dead letters and making them alive again doesn't often work, but when it does, a miracle. Oh, we gained a friend friendship accepted by the locals. Uh, so interesting, this whole like way the story works is very unique. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm going to offer employment to the Postal Rat's niece. Oh, wait. These are good, though. I would... Oh, I could do that. No, I think I'll do this. 70%? This Tick tock. Oh, we fucking failed it, didn't we? Fuck me. Hours pass without anyone turning up to trouble your solitude. There's nothing to do other than read a postal instruction manual. You learn that, on recent stamps, a slight blemish on the Empress's crown marks where the legitimate stamp press was damaged by a revolutionary bomb. The absence of this blemish indicates forgery, and it requires that the letter be returned to its sender. Delivery of a letter that should not be delivered is a postal misdemeanor, punishable by the docking of wages. Assuming, of course, that anyone ever finds out about it, which seems exceptionally unlikely. <laughs> Okay, we have an intriguing snippet, though. Rip. Uh, end your shift, I guess. Uh, explore the beach. Shifty going. Collect material for the dead letter office. Argue with the man holding a broom. Argue with the man holding a broom. No luck, it's pointless. Of course, you try to tell him, shouting into the shore wind. He stopped. Wait, what? He's determined. He keeps shoving letters into the sea. The sea keeps shoving them back. You try to tell him it... This shouting into the shore wind. He stops and stares at you with blind eyes for a minute or two, then returns to his occupation. Can he even see the messages he is so desperately... He is so desperate to send back out into the water? Interesting. So the odd currents here. On all sides, you make a complete circuit of the island. The whole shoreline is alike, all of it covered in debris. All of it washing steadily inland from every direction. Not the work of some directional current, it's more as though the whole undersea were draining into Nuncio. Except, of course, that force did not affect your ship, and you came this way. It does not, does not stop ships leaving. Evidently, it only works on the post. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, we'll do this. Will of its own. You make your way along- So we- what did we do? That's where all this flotsam belongs, so it can be sorted. Will of its own. You make your way along the shore with a big sack. Many of the envelopes are too damp to read. Their address is permanently lost, but a surprising number are still illegible. There are also parcels. Here and there is a crate, a message in a wine bottle, a sealed cask that has bobbed up out of a shipwreck. Your sack ought to get heavy with all these contents, but it pulls upwards and away, straining inland towards the dead letter office like an unmanageable dog. We now have one dead post. Can I collect more? I have two total. What does this do? Can I deliver that? Do some more shift work. Can I deliver this? Feed your undeliverable lectures to the shorting machine. On uh, occurrence, I worked. 52 categories. After prolonged worrying, the machine begins to distribute. Seven invitations edged in guilt 
into the correspondence of ar aristocracy slots, two oversized parcels probably containing books into the books tray, one stamped bronze tablet that drops with a clang into the bin marked First City. The postal rat watches all this with an air of satisfaction. Okay. Do it again. I get nothing. I don't get anything from doing that. Uh, can, can I just talk with you again? Can I just keep talking with you? Ask the post, po postal rat for a key to the basement. Can I just keep talking with you? Wait, this is actually... Oh, I talked to him many times. No trouble at all. He's surprised by the request that we asked for a key to the basement. He's surprised by the request. Most postmen don't like it down there. No one ever asks for a key, but he'll cut you a new one. Just be careful in there and come out if you start to feel wrong. Authorized for backroom access? Open the back rooms. Oh no, we're going into the back rooms. Deep and deeper. You had expected a few shelves of supplies. More files of more files of letters. A few years older? No, it is a pit. So deep that lantern light does not show the bottom. A spiral walkway descends along its walls, and that spiral opens wider as it goes, as if you were looking through the narrow end of a very large shell. Shiny Lining this wall are shelves and nooks, unevenly sized. Some are a few inches square and contain single scrolls of papyrus. Others support crates bigger than coffins. They're made of a woody fungus grown to meet requirements. There are no marks of carpentry or any of the postal rat's handiwork. Three turns down the spiral and you feel you can't breathe. It's time to leave. You can come back later. Maybe. What the fuck? We gained five terror. So cool. Tell your rat about the basement findings. Tell the rat about the basement findings. Troubled, but not surprised. They say that's been there since before they came. Before there were Londoners in the Neath. Before there was a dead letter office, there was someone else. They built the last layer on top of what was there before, and so on. You press him a little further. He says, I've been down there. Didn't like it much, but I wanted to test my machines. Thought of it... Thought if it could handle some of the very old letters, that would be a good sign. You know, evidence the machine was in working order. Good, strong sorting categories, and so forth. Give me one second. I kind of I want to check if I have enough storage for the recording right now. I should, so let's move on. He pauses. There's letters down there that set your hair on fire if you so much as look at them. See the bald patch on my left leg? That wasn't a machine accident. Oh no. That singed off as soon as I put my nose into one of them letters. We've gained a tale of terror and we now have an extraordinary implication. Familiar with the flaming letters? What the fuck? Send into the basement with mirrors. There's 39% chance... Failed, and I gained 15 terror to my fucking piece of garbage. Go to the postman's tavern. Can we talk more? Ask to borrow a new uniform. If you're to fit in here, you'll need one. Look, but not touch. They're polite, even apologetic about your request. You're welcome here, and welcome to take shift at the dead letter office. But you cannot wear the uniform unless you were a postal employee back in fallen London. Regulations. Lund Thomas lets you have a look at his uniform jacket, at least. Needs stitching. Gilded buttons, a thin but dignified circle of braid at the collar. Inside a patch that goes over the heart, stitched with six red letters. Can't read it, but it makes your eyes itch and your scalp feel like burning. Okay, well, fuck me. Trade war stories about your shift work. Common ground, the parcels you've weighed and entered in logbooks, the things that oozed out of them. Postmen are delight by your incredulu incredulity. And shock, a civilian finally understanding the full horror of the post. They have stories even worse than those, let me tell you. Hang on a moment. Postmaster's... Postmaster, Scritch. We've all heard, heard your rubbery lump story already. It's nothing to the tomb colony pickles. Pick, pickled what is what I want to know. What about that Soothe and Cooper crate... And how we had to scrape the bits off the masonry. Do you remember? The night runs late. Interesting. <laughs> I love how all of these places have like their complete own world. Like the mask place. This place. The caviar place. Like fucking wild. Talk about the caverns below the dead letter office. Oh, I lost it. Perhaps not. Uh oh. 
You don't get far into your question before the hairless postwoman stands up and goes over the fire, holding herself tightly. She is whispering nothing coherent. Fire clean. Smooth. Down to the bone. No excuse. Smooth. Little black hair. Still your tongue, fool. Says Blunt Thomas. Okay, well, rip that. <clears throat> they do not like that. More go to the... Can't really do much, right? You can just... Oh, what's this? Perhaps there's more evidence of the great hollowness underneath these shores. Depth below. Striking the ground causes the stones to shift and rattle. It is hard at first to hear anything more than that. But if you try long enough and strike hard enough, the whole beach shivers like the surface of a drum. The flotsam letters quiver and align themselves in concent concentric circles around the point of impact. The next wave brings the shore three or four times three or four times the usual fright. Cool. I guess I... What does that even do? Nothing. Collect some letters. I don't know what I'm doing really here. Can we even continue or do we need more? Probably need more. Can I talk to you again? This is too risky, man. I don't want to do it. Like if we fail again, we're going to be so fucked up. We'll come back here another time when we have less stress, I think. And I'll buy two fuel. And that's, I think, it. He might just be fucked up here if he's gonna fight us. He didn't seem too strong, though. Can I just, like, super cheese? What just happened? Discovered rat barge? This is not very good, huh? Okay, where are we going? Um, We're in, like, dangerous territory. Obviously, there's so many enemies here. I could go down to see if there's some safety, but we tried to go from here and there was nothing but enemies here. We could also check. Like, I'm pretty sure the big city, Khanate, is over there, but like going there is going to be so dangerous. How do I get past that without getting attacked? Even a good idea? This might be a terrible idea. <clears throat> I'm just going to try and make it, make it to the east. Feels very dangerous. I'm just having my light off. Probably keep it on, but I have it off because I don't want to attract attention. Might have to use this full power to the engines here. Sea of Lilies. Guarded by not oracles. Bad. What was this? Port. Wisdom. Oh, we can land there? So cool. I'm in one fucking crazy place, huh? Any more stuff? How many fragments? You can get more mirrors. I didn't realize mirrors were so useless, kind of. Alright. Nump Mids Harbor. Prison walls are mercilessly steep. Hand over a prisoner? Interesting. Nupmid built this place as a prison for the Khanate. Now it, answer only, now it answers only to its governor, and its governor answers to no one. Hand over a prisoner. Oh no, we'll pay you. Oh no, we'll pay you. The unctuous fellow says, We can always find a use for another pair of hands. We get lonely, you know. Lonely? Change a secret for a prisoner. What? This is unlikely to be profitable unless you have something, someone specific in mind. You get a prisoner here and then give it to... You need 175 pages? Jesus. Get the port report. Rescue a prisoner? This seems like a fucking terrible idea. Interesting. Oops. Expensive. Um... We need this. Might just have literally given me... I don't know how much these port reports are worth. Probably not more than 40, so this is not very useful. But whatever, we're finding new places. So there's a prison there. We can get a... We need to figure out all these places. Like, even if we die now, we can learn about how to solve these... Like, these quests based on the locations that are available. I'm gonna go as far to the east as possible. Gary, there's nothing here.
Owen. Very concerned. Or something. There was a shark at the top left, but we're fine. Who cares? They're good. Oh, there's fog. <gasps> there's a port! Where am I? My fucking terror is terrible. Terrible. What the hell is this place? So pretty? <laughs> oh, no restless nights. No, no, no. We're not doing that again. Astaval. Sun. A great beam of sunlight bathes the island. Squint into the dazzle far above. There's a hole in the roof. In that light you see beaches of wide gold sand, trees heavy with bright fruit, the reds and blues and greens of the surface. Investigate the ruins. There was some sort of installation here and what looks like a handsome country house. Who was here? What happened to that? Oh, we can make a kingdom here. Maybe? <gasps> to found a colony, bring something to Estival that can protect against the sunlight. Interesting. Red bird singing. A garden overgrown with berry bushes. A wooden trestle table set for a meal. Chairs strewn with bones. A half dozen skeletons. A red breasted bird perches on a grinning cranium. Talks an eye at you and bursts into a song. A liquid thrilling sound. It seems unperturbed as you approach to poke through the bones. No signs of violence, no fire, no bullets, no bites. These people died peacefully, sitting down to breakfast as the surface sunlight spilled over them. Sunlight can kill at any time. The longer you remain here, the more danger you're in. So why did they stay? Perhaps they stayed because Astaval is as beautiful as anywhere in the Neath, and ten times as generous. If it's a fine place for a colony. You could find your own pocket kingdom. You could do something about the sun, but what? What has power over sunlight? What makes the impossible possible? Very cool. And in memory of a distant sun, distant store. Gather supplies. Compile a port report. Your eyes water. The pages blur. The report is one of joy-filled complaint. Estival has a beauty too bright to be appreciated, but perhaps the Admiralty can find something of use. Done. Gather supplies. Go beach coming. If you're lucky, you might pick up treasures. More likely, you'll pick up bits of woods. Here, we'll gather supplies. Oh my god, I gained 10 supplies. Jesus Christmas. That's incredible. I lost a crew, though. You fill your stores with breadfruit, sugarcane, coconut, soft-shelled crabs, and plump birds. Too stupid to know a hungry sailor from a tree. But on the way back to the ship, one of your crew topples over with a groan. She's smiling blissfully. Go on, Captain. She says, I've missed the sun. Her eyes close. Sunlight is perilous for those who lived in the Neath too long. Wow. <laughs> kind of awesome, but also kind of dark. Okay, no shop here, obviously. Okay, well, we are absolutely doing fine now. We got 20 supplies. Holy shit. All right. That's a beautiful place. Okay. Can we... Do we go up or do we go down? I think we go up a little bit. I want to explore along the side. Is there not going to be a side here? Is, I need to be careful here. This is where I drop a safe if this wasn't a rogue leg. Is a bad idea? This seems like a terrible idea. I need to just go down. I think this is bad. No terror here. I'm going to go down a little bit. Restless nights. Can I just cancel this? Ignore them. We've lost one terror. Nice. Oh, I need to keep my light on. Nathan's bluff. Nice. I mean, I'm basically on the edge of the map. I don't know if there was something more up top. I discovered something. Why did you say there were no islands nearby? What the hell is this? There's a fucking giant skeleton. Oh my god. What the hell is this? Uh, what the fuck, brother? 
That's so cool. <laughs> oh no, it's one of those guys! No, I'm on the edge of the map. I'm in a terrible fucking spot. What is happening? What am I doing? Why am I here? Oh god. That's a huge ribcage, man! That's crazy. Okay. okay, this is bad. What the hell? What is this? <gasps> what are these places? <gasps> There's a port! Oh my god. Actually terrifying here. I hate it so much. What the hell, man? <laughs> the Chalonade! I remember this was something. A, a shell as big as a wild dream. Waves lap the slabby sides of a vast turtle shell. Bigger than any cathedral. Jelenites loaf on wooden docks around the shell sides, staring sullenly. Lamps hang like decorations in a festive butcher's window. All around you, the sea is rank with scraps of ancient flesh. Allow the plausible surgeon to go ashore here. Oh my word, look at these scars, look at these, look at these stains. Release me from my contact, contract, Captain, I beg you. If saved up enough to compensate you, yes we will, we are not even using you. A pocket full of echoes. The surgeon is as good as his words. Hands trembling, he counts out the coins and whispers a little secret he picked up back in London. He's vague about why he didn't mention it before. He collects his knives and instruments, heads into the shell, and it's gone. Oh, a little a secret? So he gave me strategic information. Let's go. That's good stuff. And we get 200 echoes. Also amazing. Uh, sure leave at Chelinate. That seems bad. Obtain a doomed monster hunter? Oh... We had this, but we sold it for a thousand. I think that was worth it, though. Compile a port report, yes. Oh, we can do this! Ales for the bones. Someone is crying unusual wares. Follow the sound. Someone is... Yes. What the fuck? The Crimson Chronicler. Scrawny man squats beneath an awning of gaunt, ant-colored whale skin. Bring me your tails, he cries. Tails for bones. You need a Z story or a hunting trophy. Create a chronicle to inscribe a Z story onto a hunting trophy and you'll receive an outlandish artifact. Interesting. So this place doesn't do much, I guess. Pigeon Ivory. That must be expensive, right? Mount Nomad's Heart? What the fuck can you sell here? This is weird as hell. Pigeon Ivory? I mean, that might be expensive. I'm gonna buy two. Just maybe I can sell it for a profit. Did I need that for something? Another day. Ever-changing. Your time at London will change you and London? Need this for something? Bring a shady sort of vendor bright from... What the hell? Um, I don't think so. We've met the father. Dreams of a lady bound for polythreme. I think we're just gonna go. Okay, so now we need to get somehow past this. What a crazy place, huh? Other thing explored. We want to just go further down. Seems like it's relatively safe here. What that's worth. Maybe up there. Imagine the fucking Khanate nation is all the way up. It'd be so rude. Going down is so scary because it's really hard to see. There's monsters here. There's... Right, anywhere? I mean, you could technically slowly make our way back over here. Oh, there's something. On shadow! Oh, wait a minute. That's something. What is this, though? 
Ooh, what is this? Can I land here? Looks like there's stuff here. Uh, this looks like it should be a port. What the fuck is this place? Is this the Kane? Empire of Hands? Well, there's a port. A little wild, huh? Oh, can we go underneath this? This looks like a bridge. Yes, if your light can go underneath it, you can go underneath it. Pretty sure. Yes. We are finding some cool places. There's a giant blimp. A stern reminder from the Admiralty. In the name of the power of her enduring majesty, a trade embargo and quarantine in absolute perpetuity has hereby been declared on the Empire of Hands. No ship of London is to permit aboard a Pentecost ape without express and prior permission of the Admiralty. Any and all acts of spirifage are prohibited. They know what they did. Beware of stowaways. Keep a tight grip on your soul. Excerpts from Standard Naval Regulations, Volume 4. The flea-ridden mayor. With the, with the regulations in mind, it is a surprise it, to be greeted by a mere itchy monkey in a tattered yellow robe, barely walking with the help of a ceremonial staff. An official greeting. Hello, cries the mayor, in the broken voice of one not yet used to human speech. Come, make yourselves at home. All souls welcome in the bountiful empire of hands. The crew shifts uncomfortably. They know the stories. It will take more than natural beauty of the, more than the natural beauty of this place to make most of them risk sure leave here. The current your empire of hands quality monkey business is now one. <laughs> Port Stanton. Shore leave. I do not want shore leave. The parasitic jungle holds many dangers. Step carefully. There's no authority beyond the fence. Can I make a port report? An audience with the flea-ridden mayor. He's not busy. No appointments are required. The Zeppelin. Burned away. Two monkeys guard wielding rifles and rusty bayonets. Block the bridge. This is not for your eyes, outsider. Avert them. Walk away. Walk faster. Good human. Um, talk to him. King of an empty castle. The flea-ridden mayor scratches himself on a chair made of crates, surrounded by boxes of long-run trade goods. As a five-souled ape, he would be able to petition for membership of the court, for now the trade embargo has left him trapped on the outside. A three-souled overseer with no talent for order. Sell your soul to the mayor? The mayor will purchase 200 echoes, will pay 200 echoes for my fucking soul? Excuse me, look at this monkey. I'm not doing that, are you crazy? Soulless, no more than zero. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Acquire fresh supplies for 20 echoes. Acquire an emergency fuel. Oh, this is super expensive. Fuel got fuel, the fuel... Not cheap, not free, can be arranged. London money, okay. Put on table, Lo look on docks. I'm not gonna do any of this. This is fucking weird. Uh, prepare a comprehensive report. I need to have all of this. Okay, we could do surely. Sure, we'll do surely. This is gonna be scary, though. Locals call this Shell Beach. It is a place of death. Where the bones and still rotting carcasses of man and ape alike are left to the thirst of the Z. The carnal history of the Empire of Han stretches amongst out amongst the flies and the maggots of the apes who would be men in their stolen civilization. Something glints around the neck of a skeleton, a locket you pocket it. Though it does not look like it is worth much, the Z infamously takes much. Sometimes, though, it gives back. Perhaps this will prove to be such a time for some hopeful soul out there. In 10 Terra, I now got 69. Would be nice if it wasn't so bad. Oh, God. Oak around the shore. This is a terrible idea. Uh, okay. Um. Yeah, I think we need to go. Port Stanton. That's the shore. And then sailing of the... End. What was this? Scouting trip. Communal wooden boats offer free passage to all travelers willing to row between the islands. 
a scouting trip, Sovereign Islands. A wooden palace stretches across the whole island. Passage to it lit by a field of tiny glim buoys. The heart of the empire. Many boats circle the island, all keeping their distance. The new... The one... That gets closest is an extended rowboat painted in yellows, whites, and reds. Four servant monkeys strain at the oars while its true passenger sits in comfort behind a gauze curtain. Just for a moment, an eye catches yours, but only for a moment. It would not do for a high souled ape to see something so beneath its notice. High souled ape? <laughs> is that them or me? <laughs> Cover an island. Today, the sprawling palace is called the Wild Wheeled Court. Tomorrow, who knows? The world of the Pentecost apes is one of cruel whimsy, where stolen traditions last only as long as their amusement. Access to the court? I don't have a gift for the monkey emperor? <laughs> this is so cool. It's so weird. Okay, I guess we leave. The, ga the gates are guarded by two armored monkeys. It should look adorable. If not for the blood on their bayonets, humans are not welcome here without an invitation or a worthy gift for the Emperor. Alright, we'll go back. Uh, and then we'll... Scouting trip, the Ash Isthmus. Of apes and monkeys, neither man nor ape claims this volcanic remnant between the islands. Haunted, they say. Ridiculous. Of apes and monkeys. The trip offers a little time to think on the panties. Technically, they are monkeys rather than apes, but it is not tactful to remind them of this. Their high-souled faces. The accepted name is Pentecost Apes. In private, though, the bloody monkeys is about as bloody monkeys is about as common. It is, one might say, an ad hominoid insult. Enter the forest. This seems bad, but I guess we'll do it. Into the woods, wide natural paths run between clumps of trees softly lit by a dim green glow and the occasional glimmer of fa false stars through the canopy. Only the cracking of leaves and the so so soothing sound of water breaks the serenity of this volcano-forged paradise. Hunt for supplies. That seems stupid. Relax in a hot spring. That seems amazing. Five terror lost, nice. A moment for yourself, you slip out of your itchy clothes and into the welcoming caress of hot, deep water. The salts and sweats of sailing life melts away as you simply float, bare and free. Above, false stars glimmer bright enough to be worth wishing on. All around the glow of the trees casts ambient calm on the silent peace. How long has it been since you had a moment like this? Since London. Longer? Since London? Longer? I see. A uh, thought for the past. Sea captains are... Wait, what? A thought of your... thought for the future. A thought for the east. There's so many fucking... What the hell? I think I'm going to do a thought for your lover because I want to get rid of my stress as much as possible. A thought for the past. What is this? Sea captains are born and sea captains are raised. You think back on the day you learned it was your path. I guess well, I want something positive. But this is positive too, though. I think I'm doing this. Oh, never mind. On those nights in Wolfstack Docks, the noise, the passion, the delightful filth, the hot water hugs you as you remember uh, her touch, your last words before departing, that half-smile almost but not quite blossoming into completeness. How long will it be before you feel the touch of skin on skin once again, or wake to see her sleeping brow, always so furrowed, furrowed as soft and calm as the Z itself? Wait, what was that? Sounded like giggling. An occurrence. Your Empire of Hands explored Ash Isthmus quality is now three. Caught? Excuse me. Tiny blonde girl perches, watching on a rock. Her innocent grin is spiced with, mis with mischievous glee. She moves like a monkey. She giggles like an imp. At the look on your face, being caught, bathing in her hot spring, and the one that floods onto it as she scoops up your clothes. Am I going to be naked? What the hell? A monkey foundling. Shipwrecked as a baby, raised by the Empire of Hands, she now p plays between the worlds of apes and men, neither quite one nor entirely the of the other. Demand that she put those down at once. At once or you'll shout, there will be trouble. I don't think she's going to care about that. A desperate swim. Curse these relaxed limbs. The monkey foundling makes this interesting. She waits, grinningly, innocently... 
Grinning innocently until you emerge from the hot spring with nothing but your strategically placed hands for modesty before you can get close enough, though. She bolts from her crouched position and into the forest on all fours, a scampering run that turns every rock and fallen tree into a springboard. Her Empire of Hands quest for dignity quality is now won. What the hell? Uh, chase the monkey foundling. Damn it, you cannot return to the crew like this. Into the forest, the branches scrape against your skin. The damp mud squidges between your toes. There's no sign of the monkey foundling, but her tracks are easily followed. Uh, a forest clearing. The footprints lead here. She has not even attempted to hide them. It is as if she wants you to follow. Ouch! Your hands slap to your stinging... Your hand slaps to your stinging buttock. There's a little stone... A little stone lands in the dirt as a familiar giggle comes from above. You look to see the monkey foundling dangling upside down from a branch by her legs. A blowpipe in hand and bag just out of your reach. Tantalizingly so. Taking a deep breath, you politely, very politely, request that she return your damn clothes now! <laughs> the monkey foundling listens and gives it some thought, tapping her blowpipe against her lips as she decides. Say please! She grins. Please. There. It is said. The monkey foundling thinks for a moment. Pretty please? Pretty please. The, the monkey foundling has never heard of cherries. Pretty, pretty please? She adds, stifling a giggle. Pretty, pretty, pretty please? <laughs> oh my god, it just keeps going. <laughs> pretty, 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 pretty please? <laughs> A gift from the monkey foundling. You appear to have pretty, pretty pleased her, and she decides you deserve a reward. She fishes in her bag and generously throws you a sock, a single solitary sock. She learns a few new swear words as she races off across the branches, near doubled up with laughter. <laughs> Pursue the monkey foundling. Yes. You failed. Oh, well, rip. A trap. Your feet just recognized a looped rope in time to jump over it, avoiding what would otherwise have been a nasty trip into the air. Monkey Foundling looks disappointed. Your heart does not bleed for her. The chase continues. A marsh of terrible stench. It is placed... It is a place that skunks would think twice of entering. If the Empire of Hands had such creatures, the Monkey Foundling, of course, is concerned. As much... Is unconcerned, as much at home here as high in the branches of or running the forest paths. He almost dances effortlessly, effortlessly across a thin fallen tree that crosses the mire, surrounded by the foulest bubbling mud that has ever invaded your nostrils. She balances in the middle, daring you to follow. Oh my god. Oh, I could shoot her. <laughs> 30. You slowly cr I failed again. Oh my god. You slowly cross the marsh. It is slow, slow going. Your muddy feet slide against the thin trunk as it buckles and strains under your weight. Inch by inch, step by step, you slowly make your way across. Until bored, the monkey foundling suddenly jumps down and down hard. The tree rolls under your feet. Your balance fails. You slip, tumble, are embraced by March, whose, sm whose smell will never leave you. You fight to the surface, streaming brown and dripping green. Violently coughing up and gagging throatfuls of foul smell of slime. <laughs> the monkey foundling sits across sits cross-legged in the safety of the trees, holding her nose as she points and laughs. The monkey foundling dances. Ambush! A this is fucking ridiculous. How long is this gonna keep going? <laughs> Ambush! A screeching Pentecost ape drops from the branches. The shock on the monkey foundling's face makes it clear. This is not part of her little game. Its rage is focused entirely on her, the ghost of the Ash Isthmus, and the da and the bright soul which with which it can uplift itself to glory. It limps from some trap earlier. Its fur blood-soaked and glistening, it lunges at the monkey foundling who half rolls, half falls off the stump and yelps as it catches her by the leg. She rolls, shrieks her own howl as she lashes back with a kick that shatters fang and splits its lip. This only further enrages the frothing ape. It strikes. We can help it or leave. Ah, uh, we gotta help. Come on. <gasps> Rock beats ape. You reach for a stone and bring it crashing down on the distracted ape's head. Its skull cracks. I didn't expend. I didn't fucking think I would kill it. Its skull cracks, dampness spreading. It collapses to the ground hard. 
There's not a child's face that looks up at you. Still, you reach a hand down. That monkey foundling just stares at it for a moment. Something human. Returning as the adrenaline fades. For a moment, it almost looks as though she will take it. But no. She leaps up on her own, bounding away towards the dark safety of her jungle. And then she stops. Hesitates. She looks back and tilts her head, beckoning you to follow. It is a look that suggests the game is over. And perhaps not yet quite finished. A small hut in the middle of the forest. Is this where the monkey foundling lives? Why would she lead you here of all places? Playmate of the monkey foundling. The monkey foundling herself is nowhere to be seen, but she has left you something. It sits outside the hut, carefully placed by a large happy face drawn in the black sand. A, a little price for being such a good sport. Wait, what? What did she get? She's left us something outside the hut, carefully placed by a large happy face drawn in the black sand a little price for being such a good sport your clothes however are nowhere to be seen of course as the monkey part of her would no doubt demand where would the fun be in that we did gain wait my quality is just 55 this never happened <laughs> i gained an outlandish artifact though hello return to the ship well there's no avoiding this any longer oh god an out of un we lose there look at that an out of uniform experience the crew reacts with expect with the expected amount of sympathy towards your to your naked return which is to say exactly none by the time you board to the ship every last crew member is on hand to see and cheer with more than a couple letting off flares as impromptu fireworks it is many many days before the needling ceases and you are able to give an order without first scouring it for innuendo <laughs> <laughs> on the plus side, it does boost at least the rest of the ship's mood while it lasts. And you have a new treasure for your collection. You have had worse days. That was actually so good, dude. <laughs> what are these random, like, just completely engrossing story side missions? That's so fun. Oh, that was awesome. All right, we continue. A scouting trip, Fountainhead Island. Ancient secrets speak out of the trees. Any may visit, but few panties ever bother to make the pilgrimage. A young ancient empire. The empire of hands is hardly as old as they pretend, but mimicry and theft infuses their whole culture. If the panties have come to think that rulers should be buried in ancient temples, temples, then it is ancient temples they will build. It would hardly be the first time their attempts to mirror humanity have entirely missed the point. A temple in the forest. In a clearing of parasynthetic trees looms an imposing structure of wood and stone. Treasure hunt? An ancient-ish treasure map? A vault of the first emperor. A str it stretches through the forest in a number of styles, each designed by the whims of the latest Pentecost apes who felt it needed to be made grander. It would take a dedicated team to break in and uncover its secrets. Perhaps you will bring one here later. Interesting. Return to the boat. We did get the quality. Nice. Uh, and the last one, a scouting trip. Heartshake Island. Heartshake Island. A thin pillar of greasy yet appetizing smoke rises from the only human settlement in the Empire. A Blumenbach Quarantine. The Admiralty ha has never stated precisely why it seeks to keep the Empire confined. The most opposition to it fades once set opposers actually encounter a Pentecost ape have been easy to qu corral however however though they do not lack wit there is not an inventive bone in their hairy bodies and no amount of stolen humanity has thought thought them the art of creating engines a lost treasure hunter he squints at a map muttering incoherently north for each city the bats have brought down he wipes his brow. Have you seen a big axe on the ground by any chance? I got these four map pieces that got me this far and said X will mark the spot, but I can't find an X anywhere. He looks at the map sadly. It should be here. It says, now where am I supposed to dig? He's too busy to talk right now, but adds that he will be in the village later if you want to trade adventuring supplies. Don't try the meatballs, he warns, getting back to his search. Just don't want to do that. Approach the village. An explosion almost takes off your head. Sorry about that. Booms the boisterous pirate, lowering a smoking blunderbuss as bits of shattered tree rain down. New arrival, aren't we? Well, if you haven't got a tail, you're all right by me. 
He squints momentarily, suspicious. You don't have a tail, do you? Wouldn't put it past the thieving little buggers to go shaving one of their own. Wouldn't know fair play if it kicked them up the right, kicked them up right up the ass. <laughs> his voice is louder than the blunderbuss. The congealed meat juices in his thick beard are better not considered. It was not madness that drove these pirates to cannibalisms. But years of being shipwrecked without the comfort of meat. After a while, any meat would do. Oh, I see. Went to the boat. They seem a friendly sort. And are shocked at the idea that they would ever be such poor hosts as to eat a guest. But then, they have no shortage of supplies. Back to Port Stanton. The sea is quiet. The journey is pleasingly uneventful. You have not been eaten by cannibal pirates. All things considered, a successful trip. Can we talk to the... <clears throat> oh, I guess it's complete. Exploration complete. Prepare a comprehensive report. Few have reason to brave the waters this far east, especially with the trade embargo. The Admiralty will pay especially well for up-to-date intelligence. The islands, the Empire, all of them warrant further attention. For now, though, it will be best to see if your initial discovery can whet the interest of anyone back home. A comprehensive report and a hundred fragments. Let's go. All right, that was cool. Very cool. If we can even make it back home, maybe we'll never make it back home. We are very far out. I would like to go to the shadow there. I guess that's where we're going now. What is this? Another place? So 14... Other place? So we need to somehow get up there without fucking finding... Oh my god, this is gonna be a mess. <clears throat> Don't need lights here. Fragments. No, it didn't. I did. I ate food. What is that? What is that? What is that ship, dude? What is that ship, brother? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. What the hell is that? What the fuck? I do not want to go there. That is crazy. Okay. <laughs> Hey, we lost a lot of terror, so we can kind of build it up a little bit. I need to have my light here, though. Let's see. We're going to the shadow of the con shadow. That might be good. Yeah, anyone? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Got a secret. We're getting stuff. Con shadow. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, what in the fuck? Okay, I guess this is a ship place. Wanderer's Haven. What the fuck? Kind of wild. Whispery noises in the background. <clears throat> On Shadow. Long ago, the Khanate turned its back on the warrior's traditions. It has no place for pirates and would be nomads. So here, in the shadow, the exiles make their home. Amid a hundred wrecked... Amid a hundred wrecked, grounded, decommissioned ships. Fire a doomed monster hunter. We don't have that. Compile a port report, I guess. Closely written notes. Conniving, debauching, speechifying, drinking, singing, speeching, poeting. Now and then, a drunken duel. Very occasionally, a savage ritual murder. Uh, I forgot how much I bought this for. <clears throat> By a crate of human souls. Figure head of the Eater of Names. Well, this is cheap. An outlandish artifact? We could buy a captivating treasure. Breaker. I think we made a thousand off of that, so that was definitely, I guess, the wash. Okay, we need more fuel for sure. I guess we just fill up on fuel. I, I leave one. No, I can't do anything else here, right? No, we can't do anything. All right, we'll just buy everything. <clears throat> Mirror catch box of very angry dream snakes. I don't know. Okay, so does the shadow being here mean that we are en route? Khan? Is Khan close by? That looks like a turret. Iron quarter. Uh, is there anything gonna be here? Maybe I need to go through under the bridge. Oof, the music. 
I've got guns. Hopefully, don't shoot me. What the hell? Anne's glory. I'm getting so many things. Oh. Oh, then. <laughs> Ons heart. Ons heart. London's rival. An oasis of light in the salt black waste. Annals thread. The painted city. Street lamps glow and water taxis putter. Seek a commercial license. Ganians dislike merchants and they dislike foreigners. Foreign merchants induce paroxysm of an if antipathy? Perhaps sufficient bribes will buy your way into the Nephrite Quarter. I am in the tea house. Hire crew. Wander Khan's heart. Richest fuel. Conate merchants grin when they see you coming. An unlicensed foreign captain? They'll pick a price and triple it. <laughs> oh seek commercial license not here surfacer surfacer the Cog have been generations underground and to them all londoners are surfacers it seems you'll need to go to khan's glory to the nearby palaces of the nobility to seek a license all right wander khan's heart shrine of deep blue heaven above the root did i just get food oh i lost hair above the roof of the neath is black impassive prickled with false stars but the kaganians still remember the sky you pass an open walled shrine with a domed roof the interior is painted a deep pure indigo citizens kneel below it while a blue priest speaks as he reaches the climax of his prayer a rosy golden light swells inside the dome worshippers murmur in a complacent delight the dome is now a perfect heartbreaking morning sky blue Color you haven't seen for how long? Filament bulbs. Your boson whispers importantly beside you. Whispers importantly beside you. Give me honest gaslight any day. I lost air. Cool. Okay, now we need to go to. We can. Just... I didn't even think about zooming ever before. I'm stupid. There's stuff here. Up this way or up? I guess Khan's heart. Gotta be through there. Off your light. This place is crazy. If, at least we found it. This is where I wanted to go. Or. Getting dark a bit. On skates. I'm getting so many fragments right now. That looks like a dock. On oh, glory. Here we go. I'm guessing these people will start attacking me if I get too angry with them. I almost hit the wall there. Did you see that? Holy shit. On's glory. Here are the palaces of... Oh, I needed this. Here are the palaces of the Khans. Of the Khan and his court. Each of a fortress to itself. Sleek lords and ladies in belted robes. Breakfast on balconies. An unlikely antelope peeks at you from a park. Guns rotate easily on motorized gimbals. Petition for access to Neo Freight Order. Plan of Leopards grant trade licenses. Okay, no one wants this. No one gives me access. I need five. I want to take a screenshot. Five sacks of dark drop coffee beans. We can probably buy that in London. So we need that to come back here. Cruise past the. And palaces. I'm probably gonna be bad. And turn back. Okay, there's just nothing there. We knew we didn't have a a thing here. What the fuck? Okay, so we need all kinds of stuff. Gives you access to the Neophyte quarter, and the cons heart to the south south, allowing you to sell your goods there. What do we need? Need favors. Leopards con oh, so we need to Offer, so we need to offer a gift of the Leo part first. Okay, so we need five sacks of dark drop coffee. Okay. And at least we found this. 
cool. Now we have to find a way back. Can we go through here? I guess we're just going. There's nothing here. I can't even have a report here, right? Not even a port report? I guess. I mean, I guess I didn't learn anything, so why would they pay for that? Yeah, we went there. There was we didn't they didn't let us in, but uh, can I get some money? <laughs> Makes sense. Now we just need to make this is so big to make our way through this over to Gator's Morn without dying to everything that's here. Fuck. Oh, don't come here. I think those ships don't actually attack you, though. I think those have come close by me before. Never been attacked. Okay. Need to discover more stuff. We're discovering so many things. What the hell is going on? Hides of appetite? That was bad. Was it like they're gonna eat me? You hear the voices that will not be drowned. <gasps> oh, what's that? That looks evil. I do not want to be there. Ooh, battle? What? what? Oh god, is this... Is this a fucking... Oh, these are all things that eat you. Oh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> we found another thing. Okay, so don't go there. Noted. Holy stream, we needed to do something here. Just, uh, tears? Your cheeks are wet. You think for a moment that it's sweat, but then the sorrow hits you like a falling stalactite. You are weeping. You double over, inconsolable. Control yourself. The ebb tide. Oh, this was bad. I shouldn't have done that. The ebb tide. You dig your nails into the palms of your hands, pacing the ship. The sorrow retreats like mist to the borders of your thoughts. You master yourself. But the taste of salt remains. Okay, we lost at... I guess we're gonna get that back sometime. Oh, there's another evil ship. I don't want to deal with you. Okay, so we're, uh, we're actually pretty solid when it comes to everything, honestly. Fuel is good. Supplies are amazing. What a trip this was. Holy shit. <clears throat> Where's more ships? Poly oh, these. Polythreme. Tac taciturn clay men. Vasive clothes. Colonies. Walking like humans. Cobbles that groan underfoot. On the hills above, a palace villa of marble. But even that writes like buried bones in an earthquake. Ask about the house of the keel for the unsettled salvager. It's unlocked with dreams of a lady five and dreams of a lady no more than five. We have exactly five. And flesh carved stone. The clay man profess ignorance. The benches wail too much to be sensible. But there is an ancient long-winded harbor wall that resembles... The House of Keel made exiles of themselves. It says in deep, crotchety tones, they boarded the, the, their ship, ships and took this to the sea. Then, far from land, they took axes to their ships, sank them, and followed them. Man, woman, child, into the depths. In abysses they built their fathomless churches and resumed their worship of Lady Black, Spirit of the Deeps. The unsettled salvager holds... Onto your arm for support as you walk back to your ship. I need to dive again, she whispers. Grant me a suit, please, Captain. You do not have one in your possession. You could allow it next time you set sail. She knows what she must do. What? Do we have her? What happened? <laughs> Gather intelligence. What news from Polythreme? City cries out, roads... Oh, I gained terror again? Fuck me. Uh, roads royal, bricks quiver. The windows of all the buildings flash like eyes. The palace above the city swells and roars. The convul This convulsion is how claymen are born. Even now, somewhere below, they open their blind-seeming gray eyes. 
Harry Clayman to London. He needs six units of cargo space. Okay, an audience with the King of the Hundred Hearts. We need a watchful curio. Do we have hold space? We do have that hold space. I guess we do that. Why not? Are they passengers or cargo? They're certainly the easiest passengers imaginable. Unless, just unless, one turns out to be an unfinished man. Sure. Each one lies down in its appointed position next to uh, next to the other, nested snugly, head by foot. We are for London, one explains to you. Okay. Surely Polythreme is an expensive place to reduce terror. I'm not doing that. Okay, cool. Shops. Oh, we can sell this for a slight profit. Okay, I see. Sure, we'll, we'll sell. What is this? We are clay. Okay, this trio of clay stokers will reduce crew requirements, but also crew capacity. It will slightly increase engine power. They are fitted to an auxiliary slot. And they are not in use. They will stand patiently, hands by their side. Do I have an auxiliary slot? I do. And what do they do? Can I see that better? If I move it up, maybe? They get... Oh, they reduce quarters by three, though. But engine power plus 250? Pretty crazy. This crew minus three is bad. Really bad. Engine plus five. Engine power plus two fifth. I think I'm not gonna do that. I think I'm not gonna do that. I think we're we're good as we are. For now. Damage, warm up time, stagger amount. Yeah, let's just go. Okay. So another place explored. Man, so many places. But let's go to Port Cecil. If we can get a port report there, don't you dare attack me. I'm pretty sure you guys never attack me, so you better just stay away. We be friends. Why can't we be friends? And move this around. That would be nice. Oh, what the fuck are the sounds? Permission to dive? Why does this fall off the screen? That's so annoying. The unsettled salvager has requested a diving suit so that they may descend and find Lady Black. The spirit understood to dwell in the abyssal depths. You could grant her permission in a diving suit and allow her to throw herself into that black as black, or perhaps you could bring her back to London and commit her to the Royal Bethlehem Hotel. Refuse. I think this... I think we needed to bring her back. The unsettled salvager is willing to sail far to find... I think we're gonna refuse this. Persistent, she is persistent in her request. She cannot let go of the vision she has of the lady. A madness has taken her. The only way to keep her safe will be to bring her to London and commit her to the care of the royal Bethlehem. Okay, so this is just permanent now. Be careful here, there could be evil monsters on the lookout. This is a spiky place, huh? Spiky place. Oh, good. Oh, oh, oh. There's a fucking thing right here. Go, 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 go. Go. Oh, that worked out. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. An extra move. Oh, yeah. Can we do this still? So this is the place where we did the like shh. What the fuck am I doing? Oh yeah, where we did the the chest thing. I think. Gather intelligence. What happens here? We have a port report, and I guess we'll do this. Add a skin to lack. Ah, this challenge six point six. I think I'd rather just explore. Eight. Whoa! Aurora rupture. The light grows in the far southwest. It begins like a distant bonfire, but very rapidly it becomes brighter, brighter. It looks remarkably like sunrise. Some of your crew fall to their knees. Others duck behind cover or shield their eyes. One cries, Dawn Machine Waking. 
Look around, but not directly at the light. Anything like sunrise... I mean, this is a tough challenge, but 40% is pretty high. I think I'm doing it. <gasps> we did it. Oh my god, my terror. Fuck me. Radi this was so useless. Radiance to the southwest is white gold like a surface morning. There's warmth on your face, your eyes water, your skin stings and tingles. You catch a glimpse of geometries in the heart of it. Complex, faceted shapes that re reconfigure like the wheels of an orrery. The light fades suddenly. Men and women cry out. Cry out. Curse. One weeps. Okay, so we succeeded. But we still gain 10 terror. I don't know what the point is of these type of fucking successes. That's so bullshit. I guess you just ignore those. You need to learn that you ignore those. That's just such bullshit. We're so high on terror. Ter terrible. As they say. Can we talk to this officer? Tell her about beating her father. Increase your hearts. Doesn't she make you scared or something? What is my... My veils are pretty high. Can I increase iron somehow? Entertain your blind again? Can't do that. Let this thing go away, because there's nothing here to do, right? Alright, we just wait. Because now it's just basically time to go back. We could go through here. And then, because now we're in, like, somewhat safer waters. That was a crazy trip, by the way. The amount of wild stuff we found. You go away. I don't want to deal with you. Eh. We need to figure out, like, what the next mission would be. Found so many secrets, right? How many secrets have we got? Only ten. I swear we explored so much. Looks that we failed that challenge for the Admiral somewhere. I forgot where it was. It was all the way in Frostfound, I think. Okay, at least we're gaining more of the map. Like this, you're both gaining uh, stuff. You're gaining lore, fun, and you're gaining map. Which means that when you get missions, you actually know how to go to the places you need to go to. Is that a growl? Is it? Old lions to the west? I can't go there. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Ooh, new place. Salt lions. Wasn't there something with this? I just lost my salt god blessing or whatever, so that's kind of annoying. The salt lions. Two basalt beasts, cathedral sized. Two basalt beasts, cathedral sized. They frown eternally at each other across the black waves. The north one carries an encampment. Creeping human figures eat away at its features like rot. Pick, pick, picking. There's a supply dock below. Carry Sphinx Stone to London. We need a 20 empty cargo spaces. That's crazy. Salt Flyons. You've brought the Nacreous Outcast here. With luck, it knows why. We brought you here. I mean, I would love to keep you. Compile a port report first. Record the activities of the Unmaker. Such as they are. Right of Stone and Silence. Is it the Unmakers? Fungal... You've lost terror. Nice. Fungal Tessane and Tea Cakes. We got funding from the Bazaar. It's true, but Station 4? It wouldn't call us Station 4. It's little. It's a little grandiose. The stones are stuffed with secrets. But most of them are used as a gar as garden statuary. Or a cult ballast. Most of them... Most of them. Some go down to the places under the bazaar. More tea cakes? Question mark. All right, some terror. That's nice. Um, I think we'll do this. Moist white eyes. You'll need the soul's attention to. Oh come on! Imagine I didn't fuck. That's so annoying. Okay, so <laughs> a 
That's so unlucky. We had this like forever and then we lost it literally five minutes ago. You'll need Salt's attention to continue. You can gain it in Wither among other places. Okay, so we'll have to go to Wither then. Um, we don't have 20 units of cargo space and I really don't want to ditch 13. That's not worth it. So I guess we're just not doing that. Could do this another time though. Go to station three maybe. I guess we could just go anywhere now. Get reports. Oh, fucking hell, that's a big crab. I don't you can probably barely see it. It's right down there. I don't want to go to the crab. Okay, but we have almost everything here. Now we just need to plan, like, rips. Like, what will we do? Going to the Shepherd Isles. Or I kind of want to go to... Never went to Gators Morn. I have a lot more... Stop. Oof. Go, go. Don't want to deal with you. 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 Luckily, I'm faster than you. Holy shit. Am I faster than you? Oh, no. Oh, no. Station 3. Save me. I'd have to fight you. Station 3 is... Oh, maybe he's gonna... Oh, nice. Okay. Ooh. I don't know. I guess flares make you shoot faster or something. That's scary. I really hate that. He's away again, so we have more vision. Station three. I need a long box. How the fuck? You did gain ten fragments. Can't. Can't get anything. You can't even get a report there. What the fuck? We need to check down here, but again, I mean, we can obviously go over here, but these are some crazy places. A little crab, gladly shoot you in the face. It's been a while since we found someone. Plenty? Only 20 health? I think if we do max damage, we just kill you. I mean, it basically doesn't really matter, but whatever. Fathom King's Hold. What did he need again? Oh yeah, he needed everything. <laughs> he needed like so many, so many crazy things. I think we need to go to the Kumian Canal again to get the, the vision. I, I hope I couldn't just get that once. There was that would be so fucked up. Wait, on this over here. Cause there was um so we're at H fuel, we should make our way back. Perfect. Boom. Trade supplies. 20 echoes. No care. Port report. Yes. Sure. We'll knock. Perhaps we'll find it valuable. Lost two terror for recent news. I mean, I guess we're not going to really do much. The convent. Wait and see. Five fragments. All right. Sure. A hunting trophy. Um, let's go to the canal again. Because if we can get the, the like, vision of the sea, we can turn that in. That would be nice. Vision of the surface, not vision of the sea, sorry. And here at least we can fight stuff again. We probably aren't gonna earn enough coming back to London to upgrade our ship. You need to learn how to make money better than I have. Maybe you can let me know what, what's the way to make money here. I should look like very carefully at the shops and like write down who sells what at what price so I know where I can purchase and then sell. If you have a big cargo, you can just like exponentially increase your money by just going back and forth between London and another place. But I'm not really in that position yet.
Show me a canal. Here, gather information. Report, report. Yeah, how do we do this? I guess you can only do that once. Does that mean I'm just top locked in my Fathom King's quest? Like, I don't understand. Pretty sure we had some kind of thing here. I don't know. Not sure, because I turned that into somewhere, but it was like a very meaningless thing I got with it, so I'm assuming it wasn't the only... I'm assuming that wasn't a very special thing I did. I just forget where I used it, but I think it was just like to get a little bit of money or something. It wasn't very special. Oh God, immediately evil? What the hell? Modern Island could save us with some... Some fuel here. Alright, we're in safe zone. We can have our... I mean, I guess they're not really doing anything. Oh boy. Can I get the uh, Ding Dong? Ding Dong, please. Ding Dong, please. Ding Dong. The fog bank, I know. Oh, you guys are fucking terrified of fog banks. Okay, good. Should have probably just gone there. I like how they don't. The, the distance between each place is kind of what it takes to get your something awaits you. Time passes. Has something. Wait, what? Roshi talk. It's probably nothing. The moment passes. The ship slides into the dock. Time passes on Mudden Island. Something changed? What? Last minute preparation. Mudden Island bustles. Villagers scurry on countless errands and the smell of baking fish wafts from ovens. Locals touch up the whitewash on their cottages. Blunting crowns the village. Down on the shore, band practices and beyond among the rocky shoals, Around the island, drownies begin to congregate. Sorry, ask about- Sorry, much too busy. A royal visit. You look for someone else. In- What is this? I don't- So annoying this falls off the screen. Like, it, it looks like it's not fully fitting the screen, but it is. It's just- I guess it's because of the scaling, but otherwise you guys would not be able to read this at all. It'd be way too tiny. Sorry, much too busy. A royal visit. You look for someone else. In the way, you manage to get a few moments. Attention from the custodial chef. It's the fruits of the sea festival, he tells you. The thirtieth... The third... Thirtieth? Thirty were promised, thirty delivered. Now his complexity comes to visit our far, fair island. He turns... So it's gonna be the Fathom King? He turns to a hurrying fisherman who struggles under a mound of bunting. Is that all there is? More bunting! He screeches, more bunting! You get nothing from Mudden Island at the moment. Something changed on Modern Island. You now have a Z story and an intriguing snippet. Oh, I say, someone will be interested. I have a Z story and lost some terror. Cool. Baker's Haven, it's the festival over. Something is wrong. Where is the chimney smoke? Where are the people? Something changed on Modern Island? After the festival. Modern Island rests silently under the false stars. No smoke rises from the chimneys. No feet spread the streets. No ruddy-cheeked locals trade rustic uh, aphorisms on the jetty. What has happened? Or the shore? What's on the beach? Laces and soles. Shoes? Oh, no. Shoes litter the length of the shores and bob in the sighing, sighing surf. Sunday's best boots. Solid farmer shoes studded with hobnails. Small, neat children's shoes with gleaming buckles. Wherever the inhabitants went, they went barefoot. I'm gonna gain a bunch of terror here. Drunk dry. Most of the brasses still hang on the beams, but now they are joined by an incongruous thudding of barnacles. Behind the bar, the floor is littered with empty bottles. You test the beer kegs, also empty. The cellar is flooded with three feet of sea seawater. Round rats float slowly across the surface. Investigate the hill. The hill is strewn with dead fish. Silver scales shine under your lamp. Glassy eyes glint. You come across the old stone well and peer in the water. And peer in. The water is high. A salt reek rises from it. On the hilltop, a wicker figure stands. When it was built, it must have been ten feet high. 
Now it is slumped and sagging. The paper mache of its skin has slowed away, but it still wears a knobbly crown of coral. Explore the village. No one's home. You wander through the empty street, empty, winding streets. Seaweed hangs from windowsills. Th th thatches are sodden. Branches bunting. Wrenched bunting hangs. I don't know what bunting is, by the way. Limpy from the eaves. No one's home. You check house after house and don't find a soul. The carpets squelch underfoot, oozing seawater. The curtains drip. No valuables have been left behind. No jewelry, no heirlooms. But there are still cutlery in the drawers. Plates and bowls stacked in the damp, stinking cupboards. Something rattles in a coal scuttle. You tip it over and a crab crawls out. It peers around, clearly lost. Mutton Island. The heirs of Mutton Island hasn't changed because it's higher than 27. Compose a port report. Still here, still sodden. Empty as pollet. No, this is little to report. Uh, excuse me. I need entertain your crew's terrified speculation. Each of them has a theory about what happened on this island. Okay, we need to... We need to save up sea stories for a while. To go over here? What the hell? This is really cool. I guess they did like a mass oopsie in the water, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, not sure. Why? Maybe they got captured by the Fathom King or something? Very cool. You can just like spam this to get high terror, which I do not want, obviously. Alright, very interesting. That crab. We're starting to lose, though. Shoot the crab. There's two crabs. Oh, the shooting is so slow now. No! Fuck. Fuck, fuck, you piece. Two damage. How rude. Dead. Can I not fight the other one immediately? Excuse me. What are you doing? Why is it not shooting? Oh, is it because of the fog? The fuck? I can't all clear. Um, excuse me. My game bugged. I think my game might be bugged. I think my game might be bugged. Um, well, I have to leave? I think I think the game's bugged. I'm gonna go to the title screen. Quit the title screen. Yes. Like, what is going on? Did it? It saved recently, right? What? Why can't I fight it? <laughs> Continue. What the fuck happened? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, that was unfortunate, but that was just bullshit. Okay. I guess we didn't. Nothing happened. We got the report as well. Quaker's Haven. Okay, I don't know what that was all about, but whatever. I guess that's kind of a cheese you could do. Just quit when you get into big trouble because we didn't take damage right there. Obviously not going to do that. I felt like that was warranted because that was genuinely a bug. I couldn't fight it. The thing just got stuck. Maybe I had to turn off and on my light or something. I don't know how to fix that. Never seen that before. <clears throat> so we're not getting any terror along these shores, so that's perfect. So you definitely need way more fuel than supplies. I don't even really need supplies. What are you? These are. It has a, like a. It changes the mouse to be like a fighting icon. Maybe they're just merchants' vessels, and you can shoot them to become a pirate or something. All right, let's see. Oh, permission to dive is fixed now too. I guess it was just there were some things that are slowly bugging out. Revenue man. I'm pretty sure I don't have anything. This will reduce your suspicion if your suspicion is five or more. I don't have anything. Let them do their worst. I'm pretty sure I don't have anything. They roam and they find, don't find anything. Get fucked. Breath of relief. As soon as the gangplank touches the koi side, the terrors of the deep sea lighten. Walk taller, smile more readily, but what dreams may cling? An occurrence, your terror quality is now 50. Fearful. Okay. Your terror is always reduced to 50 when you return to London. If it is higher, however... If it is higher, however, if your terror was high, you may suffer nightmares later. Interesting. Like messages? Time passes. Something has changed. Love the music here. 
The Lamar's Scholar has invited you to call on her or him at the university. You could just say them, you know? Call on them. <laughs> you don't have to constantly talk about this, you weirdo. Um, we now have one of this, another, oh, we have a free evening, okay. Uh, let's talk to them. A little present from the scholar. You've been very helpful. I wanted to give you something for your next voyage. I bottled it myself. Two supplies, okay. Dark glass, it smells pickled, chemical salty. Once it might have been eel. The scholar assures you that it has vital nutritional v virtues. Save it for an emergency, perhaps. Okay, we basically have enough supplies. We definitely don't need more. Okay, let's see. Memory of distant sword. I'm not gonna give the Z story here. What does this get? We need to figure this out. But that is good, because I think this only costs 35, remember? But this is basically a doubling of your money, and they... Wait, this is actually insanely broken? Couldn't you just... This didn't even take up cargo space. Or maybe you can only do this once. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, wait, no, you can do it again. Wait, this is actually OP as hell? Wait. Oh, you've gained one echo. Wait, what? An accident. This is the product of nature, not artifice. Interesting, nevertheless. I have the very shelf for it, but if you could bring me something worked, not evolved next time. Okay, so sometimes it is bad. It's like a random chance, I guess. That's very cool. Offer the scroll. I don't know if I want to offer you all of this. Let's first talk to Royal Bethlehem Hotel. Yes, Royal Bethlehem Hotel. A hotel for the insane, where the mad may comfortably reside if and until they return to sense. The unsettled salvager would benefit from a lengthy stay. Give the unsettled salvager over to the care of the manager. Sure. Welcomed with open arms. Manager of the Royal Bethlehem beams as brightly as the many brass buttons studding his jacket. I have heard of you, he tells the salvager. As you f fill out the paperwork for her stay, the lady herself... What a delicious dreams you must what delicious dreams you must have, my poor heart. You are not the first. I know you will not be the last. The salvager does not reply. Her shoulders slump slightly before she is taken away to her new room. Okay, so we get two extraordinary implication. Cool, cool. Can we do anything in Rose's Roar? If we can, Madame Shoshan is seeking an extraordinary implication. The fortune teller, under her many scarves, sips tea in a quiet corner of the market. She'll pay well for something portentous. Sure. Great and terrible. So Shana, what the hell? So Shana holds a mirror over her pot of tea. The steam fogs the glass, as is market tradition. You write your information into the condensation with a finger. When you have finished, there is a rustling beneath her scarves. A wrinkled hand emerges from the silk and places a fat envelope next to the teapot for the knowledge and your silence. It's 375 echoes? That's crazy. I guess I keep those. Had the rose market is gone now, though. Um, I would like to pass on strategic... Let's see. Do we have two of that? We only have one right now. We want to turn that into... Uh, the better version every time because it gives a huge payout if you do that. So we're not going to do that yet. Um, but I can turn in port reports. Yeah, vital intelligence gives good stuff. In port reports, we have lots of them. And, and, and new ones as well. Hunter's Keep. Just the sisters are keeping well. Five echoes. Oh, you don't get any more. I guess at a certain point, they're like, we don't care about this. This is new though. Mount Palmerstone. Stone. Admitted, you no longer have uh, 40 echoes. That's okay. The Brimstone Convention, they trouble me, Captain. Uh, Port Seasill. 30 echoes. Nuncio, this was an interesting one. This was the postman place. Ah, yes, the place that lures away postmen. One hears no end of complaints from the postal service. 30, okay. And we get a new achievement from surveying it. Abbey Rock, probably already did that. I don't know if this accomplishment does anything. You don't gain any favor anymore. See, the Cumian Canal. Oh, that day literally do not give a shit. Uh, Polythrene, this is a new one. 50 Echoes. You've gained one favor. Okay. I mean, sure. Empire of Hands. Oh, goodness. What are those accursed monkeys up to these days? You didn't bring any of them back with you, did you? Uh... 
Oh, oh, this was a super big report, remember? Oh, goodness, what are those accursed monkey up there? Yeah, okay. Report submitted. Such a ghastly place. A pause. You know, there was somebody here asking about it only recently. Delightful lady, as I recall. Most delightful. Yes. I shall take the liberty of forwarding her your address. Something new awaits your lot in your lodgings. Interesting. Uh, we got 300 echoes from that. One favor, one fuel. Nice. Your empire ha of hands, monkey business quality is now 10. <laughs> 300 echoes. We're actually getting lots of money. Frost found. Is it as beautiful as they say? I doubt it. Poets are notorious liars, but liars make bad poets. Paradox, isn't it? Never mind. Your reports. 30 echoes. All right. Sure thing. Astaval. I had always wondered if it might be a myth. No, okay, so nice. We gain another favor. And 50 bucks. Selenate. Is it still as revolting as they say? What about the smell? Uh, I mean, another one. I forgot what this was. Oh, this was the... We needed the... Um, thing here. Coffee. You saw this for one hire. Can we buy coffee? Sack of dark drop coffee beans. Okay, so we needed five of this. To give it... Oh, no, we needed that for something else. But we needed this. We need five of this to give it to the... Connate place so we can get access to that. I think that might be a good next mission. Uh, but let's keep giving more reports because we have so many of them. We still have a few? We still have a... Oh, my God. On Shadow. Oh, these are always fun. Come on, let's hear. Other officials gather round to hear your tales of bloodshed and debauchery and the jokes about the con that the Shadow produces so efficiently and so enter entertainingly. The one about the con and the donkey produces a roar of patriotic laughter and encourages the deputy recorder to unlock the departmental drinks cabinet. Interesting. I've lost some terror. Cool. <laughs> More fuel. Wisdom. Yes. Hey, we're actually getting, like, almost enough fuel to go out again. Salt Lions. Bazaar has always taken an interest in that place. Baker's Haven. How do I get nothing? There was so much big thing here. I don't understand. Uh, I don't want the strategic information. Ask if there's anything in particular they need. Here we go. The Admiral will see you now. Assistant... Wait, what do you want? Submit your port reports. Do you, what do you need? Ask if there's anything in particular you need. You need retrieve strategic information from the Mangrove College in the Swallowing Isles. Where is that? We need to go there for two things. We also have another mission. Where is that? I guess... Ask the app... Uh, okay. We don't need to repair anything. We didn't take any damage, even though we did the riskiest strip. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. We could charge some, uh... Let's see. Oh, we're full. Oh, yeah, because we need to sell these, right? Where do you sell these? We're so gl I'm so glad I didn't have to waste any. Oh, um... We can sell these. This was worth... This was more expensive than this, so I guess this isn't worth it. Um, just sell it. Whatever. Uh, and then we have what else? This is just uh, stuff. Buy a lamp. Oh, we need this, right? Secure compartment, but it needs to equip the aft, which we can't do. Um, anything else? <clears throat> Where do I get rid of these fucking Iron Man? Can I sell them to any of these? What is this? A roaring beast of an engine. 5,000. That's crazy. I am kind of lost. I swear it was somewhere. I'm just scrolling through all of them from the bottom to the top. I know I already did this. Oh, there. We are clay. Oh, you can sell this here. You can't buy it there. And I need to just transfer. Maybe I just go to London. Oh, Clayman. Deliver Clayman. This is where they want it to be, or at least where they're supposed to be. 100, 120 echoes just to do that? Nice. Uh, a matter of... Let's do this as well. Or let's see what is in my lodgings first. Read the morning paper. Sure, we'll do that for some news. We lose some terror. Um, and then what was this? Purchase an elegant townhouse. 
An invitation to Benthic College. Your travels have caught someone's attention. Benthic College is pleased to invite you to an exclusive and educational evening with the Lady Agatha Treadgold. Delightful adventurers. Delightful adventurers and raconteurs of thrilling true tales of feist and spunk. On the back is a scribbled note. Come speak to me afterwards, darling. Opportunity beckons. Attend the lecture. Uh, a trip to Benthic. Benthic is the most open-minded of the London colleges. You find yourself waiting for the lecture in a queue of students, devils, and bohemians, observed with some scorn by passers-by in Somerset collars. Her feet have trotted lands most in the neath have never ever even heard of. Her eyes have seen every opportunity for fame and glory while there. An evening with the delightful adventuress. Whoever she is, she knows how to pack a hall. Not a seat is empty as she takes the stage. The fine cuisine of Chelinate, the darling clay man. All, about a, all but a prelude, my dears. Her stories tend towards the fanciful and conveniently unprovable. The delightful adventuress has the credulous audience spellbound for hours. Many of her tales of monsters and lost cities have a common theme. She visited them ahead of a certain Lady Leonora Fortescue. Fortescue? The, late, the, the quite ad adorable, daring archaeologist with whom she sparked a bracing rivalry back at the finishing school. Interesting. The rest are tales bitter as the sourest grapes of being cheated of triumphs by the very same Fortescu, whose fanciful fictions are fit only for the penny dreadfuls. By the end, her stories are notice notable, notably more bitter than boastful. She still receives a standing ovation. Interesting. A business proposition. The delightful adventurous masked clayman Barnabas Barnabas escorts. Wait. Masked clayman Barnabas. Oh, that's his name. Escorts you to the principal of Benthic's study, where she sits sipping brandy by the fire. Ah, my dear Capitano. <laughs> Firelight glints in her eyes as she raises the glass. I hear you are recently returned from the Empire of uh monkeys? Hands, yes, of course. It is a, a rare breed that can make such a voyage. Full hardy, too, perhaps. She sips her brandy. I wish to charter your no doubt fine vessel to that primitive island. Island chain. There I shall find what I need to show up the infernal Leonora Fortescu once and for all. And you. The delightful adventurer squints, sizing you up. Sufficient compensation will not be a difficulty. A m most mutually beneficial arrangement, you will agree. Okay. <clears throat> Except, sure. Okay. Now I have, uh, or the delightful adventurers drains her glass dry. Then, then we shall see up you upon the morrow for the voyage. Barnabas, pack my valis. Adventure awaits. Okay, we're gonna bring her to the, <laughs> to the island. I hopefully don't forget about that. Uh, let's see. So that was the lodging thing. Think more in London. You can just do cruise the docks. We we're fortunate you lost fifty terror or five terror. And we can do this. The likely last. Gain, lose even more terror. We're down at 29. Very good. Something new. Something new. Something has occurred. Uh-oh. Are we gonna... <laughs> Did kid time? Um, let's see. Your ship and dry dock. A new recruit? We can check the new recruit. Oh, it's a... Whatever the fuck this guy's name is. I could get a one crew member. Sure thing. Who's a terror as well? Okay, let's see. Uh, we have lots of stuff to turn in. We do a memory of distant shores. The outlandish artifact. I think that's worth it. And 100 echoes. I think they were 150 to buy, so that's definitely not something you would do, but you can just do it if you have one. Um, We could do this again? Holy shit, let's go. And favors antiquarian has increased to four. We've gained 250 echoes. Nice. And we, we gain even more money. And then we do it again. 250 again? I mean, that's a lot of money. We might even have enough now. Uh, offer the scholar an intriguing snippet. 50 echoes for that. And we still have one, one more. We'll do it again. Uh, anything else? We need, I guess we'll do memory of distant shores. 10. And I get... 
Give me the favors and Aquarian is increasing. I don't know if we're gonna do something with that eventually. We choose this option. Scholar will become permanently unavailable. Interesting. Leave the university, I guess. Okay, that was a bunch of stuff. Uh, we still have this guy, which is like I don't even I have never seen anywhere where we can get romantic literature. Maybe in the Khanate. Is that oh yeah, the Khanate? They publish this stuff in the Khanate, so we need to. Bring the... Let's buy that before we forget. So what we need is... Um, five dark drop coffee beans. One, two, three, four, five. And then I guess... We needed that. Yes. More fuel for sure. We already got way more supplies than we ever need. Anything we can give you? No. Um, you, I guess we could turn it into some fuel, but I think I'm going to just buy one. There we go. So we are full. We got a bunch of money, though. What can we do with that? Kind of crazy. I could also get some bales. What do I need? Bales and hearts. What do you give me? Prove my mirrors. I mean, if mirrors are going to be this harsh, you know what? I'm going to just get 69. No. Um, until 5. 71 mirrors. I mean, we could just go all the way on mirrors. It seems to be one of those where you really need a lot to be able to do anything. We could also just speak to you and get some more veils. I try to dine with you. You have a quite a particular taste in fish. Looks like also everyone has like a tattoo. Um, we need 62 veils. I mean, we're gonna let's just turn the rest except one. The veils. There we go. So we're just upgrading. Man, we are actually going crazy. This game is so long. It's actually it's really fun. I didn't expect it to be uh, this is elaborate. Okay. Now what? Now we need. Oh, yeah, here, shipyard. We cannot purchase this. We are barely there. Or. Oh, we could do this. That'd be expensive, though, because how much do you have? This is just more, this is way stronger though. Orders 15, iron bonus 5, hull capacity is still 40. This one is hold capacity 120. If you just want to go completely sicko mode. Now, what's the weight? It's a thousand. So, this is twice as heavy, so probably twice as much fuel consumption with less hold capacity. That actually is going to suck. I think we should skip straight to this one and then start like making. Insane -o money. 70 hold capacity. How much hull? 300. Because, like, then you can start trading like crazy. You can, like, go back and forth. And even those, like, small amounts are going to combine to something bigger. You really do need to find, like, a more. Because there was, like, one where we could sell it for three profit per thing. That's not very worth it. We need to, like, something better. Um,. That could work. And look at this ship. Eschotalog class dreadnought. 600 hull, 100 capacity, 500 weight, 40 quarter, quarters. And we have everything. Every single thing you can have. But that's, tw that's 29,000. Holy shit. I mean, we're actually doing good. I think we should save some money. So I think next thing we should do is... Uh, I need to, like look this back uh because i think this is a perfect point to call this episode um what we need to do is we need to go to the mangrove college which i have no idea where that is that's would be the next location and i think we're going to start off by just going to can i open my map I cannot open my map uh to go to the khan's heart or Khan's Glory, to give five of those dark coffee beans to get access to this and do some stuff here. And then we're going to go to the Empire of Hands to deliver the ladies. So that's going to be our mission next time. Go here, go there. Now, obviously, very risky, especially given that we didn't actually get a whole upgrade at all. So we are still going to be on thin ice because we need to we need to do another big trip before we can actually um, like upgrade our ship, which I guess we, uh, that would be the most important thing. So yeah, we're going to go there and then maybe explore something down here. But that's going to be for next time. I've been having a great time. Hope you guys are having a great time as well. I know there's a lot of reading, but I think this really fits for like off stream video. Oh, happening. Was time still moving?
An unexpected letter. What is this? Who sent it and what does it say? You. When I return next to return to London, I will bring you an additional recruit. Your child. There you go. <laughs> Choose this option if you're giving birth to a child. Your sweetheart? A surprise for you. On your next return to London, I have taken in a found foundling? Choose this option if you're unlikely to be either a father or mother. Your sweetheart, return to London as soon as you may. Your sweetheart says, you are a father. Choose this option if you sired the child. Oh, I see. If you are giving birth or if you sired the child. Let's do this. Sure. You have a child. <laughs> what the hell? What a way to end it. Your sweet, uh, wait. A new life. Go quickly. You have a child. Return to London to look after them and they may become a scion. Allowing you to take two legacies. If I die, I get extra bonuses now? What the hell? A new arrival. What is this? Oh, I need... I could have a... I need a townhouse. I need a better... Improve your lodgings first. Okay, I need to upgrade that. But that's gonna be for another time. I think we're gonna save up the money a little bit first to get a better boat. I think... I mean, this is cool, though. And if we die, we could get something good out of that. But anyway... Uh, let me know what you think about this game. I, as I said, I know it's a lot of reading, but I think it really fits well for an off-stream video. Just something you put on the side. Just listen to the crazy stories. I, like, when I read some of those, like, islands, like the Postman Island, I get so... Or, like, the Monkey Island, you get so enthralled in the story and you're just completely lost. It's like reading a really good book, uh, which I haven't done voluntarily in a long time. So I guess this is one way to do that. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, next time, we're gonna do more exploring. I hope to see you there. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the live streams, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash insim. Click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much, and I'll see you around. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>